Ladies and gentlemen, it is good to finally be back after a little bit of a week of not being here. And, uh, hopefully you didn't miss me too much. But I'm back, and I'm starting kind of early here, because it seems like we're already in the game right... We're not in the game, but we are in the custom game right now, and it looks like almost everyone is here. So it looks like things might be going a little bit early today. But, uh, whew, got it just in time. So it looks like both teams are setting up right now. I think we're only missing one right now. But the scheduled game is still 8 o'clock. They might be waiting till then. But uh, let's talk here. Redbird Red Bird Esports. So going off of DSG, Darkstar Gaming's uh, team category on their website, uh, providing they keep it updated, which it looks like they do. I don't know if this is the Premier League team or the Intermediate team. Either way, the Premier League team is 0-6, Intermediate League is 0-5, so not much of a difference there in team. It might be the same team. It looks like a couple of the teams cross over, but I can't tell between the two. Either way, 0-5. Seems like they've also been struggling in the Dark Star Cup. So this might, we might be in for a close game here. Looks like a lot of the players are ranked higher than what they're ranked on their team's website. On their website it has... Let's see if I can get the actual team up here. Daniel... Yes, yeah, so it looks like this is the Premier League team that's 0-6. Uh, top should be Daniel, but I think I guess is goes by Dat Dat. Uh, Red Fox should be in the jungle, looks like he is. And Bobo for you is mid. Looks like we have a change, and instead we have the Mighty Wine Stand. And uh, AD Carry and Support, our little Groot in uh, Shiila. Sh Sh Shiila. Instead we have a Rabbit Squirrel and a little gr or a Rabbit Squirrel and Mighty Wine Stand. This might be a combination of both teams, which it looks like it is a little bit. So either way, looks like there's nothing crazy here. Uh, dat dat that looks like might be pulled in as a master player, so just a little bit to boost their rank, but it looks like overall both teams are not too far away from each other. Uh, Redbird ready enough. As well as we are just waiting on uh, Butler here. Of course, Ben will be joining me later, as you know, he is the coach of Butler Esports. He joins me here to help commentate everything. He goes by Sazith, or Sazith, or I'll have him say it when he gets here. But we'll be waiting on him to join as well. But for now, it looks like everyone's set up here. We should be getting into uh, Champion Select. Looks like we will be doing it through the actual League app, which is good, except for last time we had to redo it three times. So hopefully everything works the first time. But I uh, guess we'll find out. Whew, it's been a minute, guys. It's no longer 80,000 degrees in this room. It's now hit fall right away, so it's now 30 degrees outside, basically. It's freezing. So, uh, it's actually pretty good. I like that. Uh, not sure what we're waiting on here. But, wow, the number of wins on Butler's team compared to Redbird's team. I mean, this is obviously solo queue, but it looks like Butler's been doing some practicing to boss, hitting 352. Renegade hitting 674, and Hoffinator at 318. The only player that is above them, it looks like, is the Mighty Weinstein, is the next closest with like 191. Wow. Well, wow. there's been some practicing going on here. As we saw two games ago, what was it? It would be two games ago, one round ago. It was Tuesday last time. Thursday was hosted by them. We saw DeBoss play an excellent top lane and actually win the first game in top lane. And hopefully we'll see some uh, strength out of him today as well, tonight. See some strength out of him and see him competing at the same level. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, <laughs> they're, they're waiting on us. They're asking when if the stream's ready. Yeah, it's ready. Might be. So, uh, yeah, they're waiting on us a little bit there. Yeah, it happens. 
happens there. Uh, let's cut off some of that background noise. Okay, both teams are ready. And we're moving right in. Remember the hotkey. There we go. Look at that. Butler will be on red side for the first game here. And it looks like first ban will be going to Redbird Esports. A Zillion ban, directly targeted towards Renegade Mac in the mid lane. Seems to be a champion he's comfortable on, but as he told us last time, we will be seeing, hopefully, uh, some more carry champions out of him and playing a little bit more mid lane. But I saw him playing jungle on his stream, so... Don't know. Rengar ban coming out. Push toward Red Fox. Zen Zhao, a ban towards MGL, as he plays an excellent Zen Zhao, only having trouble against... Uh, I don't remember his name, the jungler from the last two times ago that played that was uh, very, very talented. A good jungler was his name or something. The band coming out against mid lane again. Oh no, sorry, top lane with the Kled. I'm surprised that they took that out unless Datat plays a really good Kled or if they're just trying to make that so DeBoss doesn't have to play against that. Alistar banned out. That is keeping in track with the 100% ban rate on Alistar. Camille ban another one targeted top lane. These might all be three actually targeted top lane. They might be trying to take down some of the power picks that Dat Dad has. He is a master level player. And the first lock in for Redbird is Kaisa going to the bottom lane. Which, uh, they could get Draven here. They could pick up Draven. There's no ban on it. They pick up Thresh for support. They could do it. They could lock it in. There's not a ban on it yet. I know they've wanted to play it. Wonder what they're going to want to pick next here. It seems like they've got their support. It seems like the only other spot where they need someone that's going to be a comfortable champion is going to be top lane or AD carry. Mac, MGL, and Hoff can... F well, I guess would be Mac, MGL, and DeBoss can kind of go back and forth. They go with the Shen. They'll give the Shen top lane to DeBoss. Picking now is Red Fox for Red Bird. And they're going to go with the Nautilus Kaiser bot lane, something we've seen Butler play in the past and has been effective, so could be dangerous. Could be something to watch out for. I think he's going to lock in this Nautilus. Yeah, can't imagine not taking that. So it'll be the lane of hooks down in bot lane. That'll be fun. And another pick coming out. Uh, they don't really need to counter pick top. They have a pretty strong top laner anyways who could survive against him no matter what. But they're going to go lock in Urgot anyways. Get it early. Could be dangerous going up against Shen. Urgot does a lot of damage. And we're going to see the... Pick up of Draven, that's what we wanted to see. Got Draven in the mix now. This is going to make it for an interesting bot lane here. We've wanted to see something like this for a while now in the bot lane. We wanted to see the Draven pick up, or we wanted to see something other than the Kaiza. Just because I think we've only seen her play Ka or seen him play Kaiza. And I think he played Vayne once, maybe. Next. Ban on the Malzahar, ban on the Galio, both towards mid lane. Still no mid lane picked, so they're still feeling it out, but there's quite a few bans. Zillion's been banned, Galio's been banned, Malzahar been banned. There's three right in the mid lane. We'll have to see here in a moment. A ban on Graves. I guess they want to take it out of the jungle themselves. They don't want to see anyone play it. They struggled against the Graves in the past just because of the strength and jungle clear was hard to go up against. Ban here is going to be on the Ari mid lane. That has been something that we've seen Renegade, Renegade play. Now are we going to see a jungle Nocturne? I don't know if I like the Shen pick with the Nocturne. I think I would have rather seen the Hecarim build with a Nocturne. 
but the Nocturne's ultimate is going to be good for blinding the enemy and not being able to see the setup of plays. Could be useful here. Especially depending on what they they want to invest a Draven bot lane, so they're they're obviously going for a strong bot lane. The Sejuani pickup, first time we've seen it in a while. It's a solid pickup. It's not going to do anything crazy, but it'll do well. It'll hold its own. It'll be able to fight the Nocturne, maybe. Well, depends how they want to play this. But mid lane. Wow. It's been a while since we've seen a Cassandra. Are we going to see it picked up? Yeah, that, or sorry, the Cassiopeia. Cassandra, oh god. Cassiopeia, picked up. That's going to be a carry mid lane. You're going to have a strong mid and bot lane, and if their top gets away, that's going to be a lot of damage coming out. What will be picked for mid? Renegade mech. Wanting to play the Oriana? I don't know if that's the choice here. I'd like to see something a little stronger, but... It's going to be the Oriana pick. That'll be the lock-in for that, and that'll be end of the draft phase. Teams will change brown here. Pretty much everything we expected. Nothing too crazy, don't worry about that. That's just a garage door, I don't know why it's so loud. But, uh... Who knows? Uh, yeah, looks like we're just gonna get a second. We'll get Ben in here. Okay, there we go. This is gonna be your lineups here. It could go either way. It looks like it might be favored a little bit in the direction of Redbird Esports, though, with this team. They've got a strong top lane. And that could be where DeVos falls apart, but if he plays it like his other games, it could be very well for him. And here we go. Ben? How's it going? Oh, it is good. How's it going with you? Pretty decent. So, uh, Oriana? Yeah, um, our, our champ pool's limited. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I feel about that pick into the Cassiopeia. They banned out the, uh, they banned out the Zillion. Uh, Which... We weren't going to pick Ari. Um, Galio wouldn't have been worth it either, but for Galio someone trying to learn Galio carry Galio champs mid lane. Um, uh. We definitely, we were we were looking for a Rise pick, but Rise just does not do well into Cass. Um, and they have a very, very beefy front line for our Draven today. <laughs> The first time we get to pick Draven, and then I know I'm excited. Tanks. That's gonna be rough. Uh, so Shen top lane against Urgot. They're Urgot master level Urgot. It's yeah, gonna be rough. Um, we're really hoping. Um, I'm hoping Kyle can do well on this Nocturne pick, just because Nocturne's such a feast or famine champion. Guess the Sejuani, I mean, he's going to have movement speed advantage. Yeah, Sejuani's pretty pretty terrible right now. Yeah. Arena. Um, but she's a tank <laughs> that's going to fit into this, um, into their... It's going to be hard though. to team fight them. But if you're looking for the 1-3-1, you might be able to find it. Orianna Nocturne Thresh mid lane doesn't push very well, though. Yeah. Um... Uh, I know someone's been playing jungle on their stream instead of mid. Uh, but I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Can you do me a favor and read me off the bands? Yeah. Uh, for what doesn't from matter. Left to right. Left to right. Ari. Galio. Alistar. Zinzao. Zillion. Rengar. Kled. Camille. Malzahar. Graves. Those are going to be the champions they chose to ban out, which uh, I guess I'd rather see a couple of those champions on the ban side for Butler than see them in the game for Red mm -hmm. Bird. But Red Bird is 0-6 and 0-5, so they have not had good luck. They've but they not... are, like, all of their players are pretty decently ranked. Well, it's not their regular team. Their regular team doesn't have Dat Dat on it and doesn't have the Mighty Weinstein. Really? No, so the regular team on the website, the premier team... 
which this is looks like it is. It's Daniel top lane, Red Fox jungle, Boba for you mid, Little Groot AD carry, support is Shalaya, and the sub is Sammy. Interesting. That's because that dad is a master one player. That's not what it says for me when I looked up the roster. The roster on their website says Dan. Uh, they all they have two teams. There's a Premier League team and an intermediate team. Oh, interesting. Uh, it looks like this is the Premier League team though. You're cutting out for me. Yeah, for me too. I think it's because league's loading up, and you know how that is. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll just get it to work this time. On the, the client first almost froze during uh, pick ban because. Um... Oh, top, laners, top laners, top uh, laners, client froze. Oh God, God bless. So we're loading in here. Um, yep. Let's see, can I bring this up? Is this gonna let me bring it up? We're at zeros across the board. Okay, this should let me. Uh, should be working here. I press the button too early. Oh. No, it's there. We go. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. I don't know how I feel about that top lane, especially if that that's a mass. If he's a master level player and he's going against Urgot against Gold the boss, I hope his Shen's good enough to hold. I almost yeah. So it, Shen has been working out um, in Worlds right now as the Urgot counter pick um, because Urgot has basically no hard counters. Um, he just he's so he's super beefy and he does a lot of damage. Um, and Shen has been the answer that pros have brought out in the past couple weeks. And um, actually, very recently, within the last couple days, itemization um, wise, what is that? What is the reason for him being the counter? Um, because so Urgot, if you get your ultimate off onto any squishy um, in a team fight, that's pretty much death. Um, Shen's got his ultimate shield that comes in, and he has reliable teleport into a team fight with his ultimate, um, while Urgot has to rely on his summoner spellbook to have TP up. Which he's going for first here, actually. Yeah. Um, huh. Well, let me get the scoreboard. Draven Botlane is going to be fun to see, especially with the Thrush. I'm hoping that can punish Akaiza, but that Nautilus is a big boy. Oh. Uh, we are already in game. 52 seconds in game. Are you at where I'm at? My, uh, yeah, my... um, The client's not working. It won't let me pull up the scoreboard. Uh, I got scoreboard. <laughs> is there a uh, a key oh, for the scoreboard? Uh, it's tab, but it also is not letting me choose anything else. I can't get rid of the timestamp or anything inside of the client. Yeah, it's not letting me do that either. Okay, well, there's a bug right now in the client, but either way, we're going to get at her here with this. Uh, pretty normal sta startup. It looks like Urgot and Oriana are going to find themselves trading a little bit in Urgot's favor here. Oh, He's doing a lot of damage. Urgot gets off a good chunk of her health to start here, and I don't think he's going to need it as much going top lane. But as they start here, it's uh, going to be an interesting one to watch. We especially want to watch the spot lane here. All right, this... so I'm at 145. 145, 146, 147. Perfect. All right. Now the Draven I've been waiting to see for some time now. But we also should be watching top lane because this is going to be a rough matchup. It's very quiet in the game for me. Do I have music turn? Do I have the music turned off? That might be the reason. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Okay, I'll give you guys some ambiance. Shen actually getting an advantage here in the top lane. Isn't this interesting to see? Oh, <laughs> even going a little... He's play. Oh, he's playing him like a fiddle. A new champ? Who this? Says the boss in top lane. Alright, so let's see. My controls are still not working how I'd like them to, but it looks like I can do the best I can do for now. My scoreboard went up now. Uh, I just can't get rid of the time controls, which is annoying. Looks like it's just going to be a little crowded on the screen, but we'll get past that. Mm, Very quiet controls. game. Yeah, I can't. I can't get rid of them either. That's yep. annoying. Well, it's a small company doing it. Oriana right? taking a lot of damage. Yeah, there. but um, the oh. tower shot <laughs> might even things up a little bit. Are they worried there in the jungle? What's going on there? I think they're uh, just being ooh. cosh. Nice hook. Wow. That Draven damage. Draven already showing why he 
Going Doran's Blade versus the Doran Shield, he's gonna do a lot more upfront damage to these two. Yeah, the Kaisa is gonna be looking to go for that mid to late game spike. Draven, you just wanna be doing damage the whole time. The yep. whole time. The whole he's got very high base damage. <laughs> An absolute powerhouse um, here. We wanna be looking for um, vision on this spot side because if they can get a gank off onto this immobile Draven, it's um, gonna be rough. Yeah, it's gonna be very rough for him onwards if he gets, uh, if he loses his passive stacks. That's detrimental to his uh, scaling. Shen playing a little bit more cautious top lane. He was a little too aggressive out early, and he got punished for it. But he's gonna sit here under tower. He's gonna pick up some kills. Hopefully, he gets that bomb. He's early, so that it can help him in farming, especially because we know sometimes CSing is a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just missed four in a row. Ah, oh. and then he goes he's for going the. He's going oh. for the trade instead of farming. Which, no, is not... Oh, but there's Wait. Nocturne. Oh. There's Nocturne <laughs> getting the fear. And that's first blood to shed. I didn't even see Nocturne. I didn't that's either. Wow. We're, ter <laughs> we're terrible at this game. <laughs> we're BMing top like, wave. Why going in? Oh, it's because his jungler's there. That's beautiful. Jungle bot lane, though, is going to be the answer here. All right, the TP coming back in. They're looking to go in right now. Okay. Oh, they're looking to fight again. Wow. He might get the return kill onto the Shen. Oh, uh, Shen's but, got not too much. Nocturne... Oh, he has flash still. Ooh, He's does Nocturne out. go? Nocturne's going to be safe about it. I don't know. I like the idea of it, but it kind of yeah. just ruined the advantage Shen had. I think Shen could have played that a little better. Uh, just walk away. Yeah, just walking back and letting Nocturne deal more damage. Because Nocturne um, gets out of there with a full health bar. He didn't even get touched. Yeah. Because in the best case scenario, you, you burn his flash and Shen walks away. Yeah. Um, but now Shen comes in. It's one to one in the top lane. He's behind a significant. Oh! Oh! Wow. wow! He doesn't have the damage though. No, he does not. Especially. Oh, he does have bombies though. So if he sits long enough there, he might have it. <laughs> and look at that CS. Or Dude, God, just oh. sit there, and I will kill you with fire. Pretty much. <laughs> That's gonna um, be his plan here. The spot lane doing doing well. Not. Not a whole Ooh, lot. Going on. Ooh, that hook. Beautiful hook, um, but Shizwani's right there, and she's gonna come down. I, they they need yeah, they to be careful here. There. They know um, she's on her way. Notice how the Sejuani has the entire bot side lit up for blue side here. Oh yeah, she is able to see when um, Nocturne is in that bottom. But Nocturne's yeah. top lane taking her jungle. So, and he's Very smiting good. it. Um, Check on the mid lane here, it's pretty even. Yeah, um, pretty good in farm, only 8 CS behind, 9 a little bit. Um, another fight happening here bot side. Yeah, looking at this, taking a lot of damage. Thresh is not as big as of a shield right now in this early game as uh, Natalus is. He needs to build up a little bit and become more of a utility Ori champ. getting caught out here. She might have to flash, yep. Yep. Dangerous play. She goes right back into lane to farm. It looks like it's going to be boring from the mid lane for sure. That would have probably been a kill if uh, Sejuani had ult. Yeah. Sejuani so... playing this game... Rather slow. I don't think we've actually seen her other than then really gank a lane, have we? Nocturne's been uh, in the top lane right twice. Lane. That was it. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of touch and go there. Yeah, so they know Nocturne's on his bot side right now because of all of those wards. Um, well, yeah, they're gonna know at least. I don't know if they actually saw him. I think that ward might have went away first. This Shen's really. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Shen is. Shen is playing this game, I have to admit, he's very down aggressive. in CS. He is down in CS, though, by quite Played a bit. Very aggressive. But he knows that's what he's got to do. He knows he's got to make up for the fact that he's not going to CS as well. As long and as the... he's not getting solo killed and he's not incredibly behind on CS, he should. if he picks up the CS and he comes back in that, he's good to go. His bomb, actually canceling out some of that CS for him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you, yeah, got the it, you got the bomb. You got the bomb. Um, uh, it's okay. So Guess. we're looking at a mountain drake for the first dragon, and neither team setting up. Uh, oh, a little bit of here in the mid, like taking a lot yeah. of damage. Surprise! The cast just no all you down. With no all coming out there. Cast holds onto it. I think she could have finished that for sure. Interesting. Sejuani in the lane a little too late, just sitting under tower. She's looking to flash ulti. Um, yeah. If she can get that off, that's a kill because Oriana doesn't have a defensive summoner spell anymore. She no. picked up 
the ignite for this game rather than a heal or barrier. Um, which means that she's not going to have any defenses against a Sejuani gang. And I don't think she can trade here with a kill, because I think it just wouldn't be fast enough. But... Pushed under tower. I mean, pushed under tower, he's behind by a little bit, but against master level player, he's got to be pretty <laughs> happy with this. It's better than uh, feeding. <laughs> yeah, it's better than feeding. Mid lane starting right, to go so. a little bit in the Mighty Weinstein's direction here. Cassiopeia hat feeling comfortable. Bot lane though, it's looking. I mean, it's looking identical. It's looking even. It's another hook. Um, getting the hook off onto the. the oh, but uh, they're gonna go right back in. What you want? Mm. Oh, the knock up did a lot of damage. Kaiser all coming in, but out. not enough. Good another play by Draven. Wow, and the Shen's coming in. That was a. Draven having enough. That was a fantastic turn. And you, you just see the raw damage Draven does, even so early, with only a BF sword and, and a two blades here. I mean, he is just and damaged. And they're going to take Dragon off this, or at least they're going to try. Um, I don't think they can contest it. Jizwani's top lane, yes. Nautilus, is not enough. Uh, they don't have Smite till Nocturne comes in, and Draven is just destroying that Dragon. Nautilus um, is going to play it safe. He's got no vision. He's just uh, going to stay there. Unfortunately, Draven didn't pick up that kill. Um... But we still have a kill lead. Ah, and a gold lead as well. It's looking um, nice already so early into this game. Alright, so we have our bot lane going back. Um, Draven up in CS, and he has an assist now. It's going to be a very close game. That Mountain Drake will pay off in the long run, hopefully. Especially with Draven uh, starting to run down turrets. He's got a lot of damage, and that's just going to make it a little bit easier for him. And especially when it comes to Baron. And the next yeah, dragon up is going to be a Cloud Dragon, so eh. <laughs> Good for Nocturne, but I maybe... Less priority than the Rift Herald at the moment. Yeah. Shen, still behind Trying there in CS. He's going to miss this cannon again. Oh, he got it. Look at that. I think you're just a little bit ahead of me here. Boom. I am at 10.42. 43? Yep. 44? Boom. Okay. Had to do a little jump there. League playing. Ooh! Me. The barrier for... It's gonna kill her! It's Cassiopeia goes down to so Orianna. I'm missing your ultimate. Um, I think Orianna's I... gonna have to go down. Yeah. Here. Oh! Nocturne coming in! Nocturne coming in. He could get the fear off. And he's he gonna get it. be able to pick up this trade kill. And he's got the damage. Uh, Not needing to flash out, but does it anyways. A good a play by Nocturne. Um, the Sudden Wani critically missing that ultimate, um, not able Ooh. to kill the, the Orianna fast enough, and letting the Nocturne come in. And Nocturne, it just shows you, you know, he can come from anywhere in the map at any time. He just zooms right in, and there's the there's the utility of him as a champion. He's going to be able to do that all game. And that's and as... setting up um, that mid turret to go down as the first turret. Um, it's Ooh. less than half. It's got about a third health right now. Butler holding on to all of its turrets throughout this so far. Objective control in, is a lot better than the last time we saw them. They're playing like a full team here. Um, Surprisingly, this game, no action coming out of bot lane. Usually that's where we see a lot of the potential, but we'll see a little bit of trading here. Yeah. Century, I'm playing this Draven so well. This bot lane, we're really looking... Oh, Ooh, there's the ult. Flash, oh, there's Orianna there. She's going to help. Draven is in the middle of it solo. Um... They could turn this. Oh, this uh, stopwatch coming off is going to stop him right the there. Shen's going to taunt. taunt. The, the, oh, the hook going to go off. Going to catch Kaiser. Do they have the damage? Oh, they just barely don't. They're still going to go for it, though. Um, so low. Oriana's Oriana going to chase. Oh, flash just not the enough. And she's Uses the, the ulti. Ooh, Cassiopeia coming down to catch out this Oriana, though. Shh, she doesn't spot this. She throws the ward in the bush and is going to see her. Very nice. They should Kaiser be able to hitting. get first tower off of this. Yeah, and it's going to be bot lane that's actually first tower. Um, what a unless, what a nice change yeah, of pace. There's no way this cast pushes them off. Uh, yeah, Kaisa's too low to go in. Very she knows nice. if she dives in, Shen and Thresh are there to peel. This Kaisa, still Draven not cashing in, but Kaisa's down um, by one assist. His top lane, though, getting to a scary amount of money here. He's got coal, <laughs> so that's even more. He's 117 I'm CS. I'm not sure why he picked up a coal, but... I guess he just wanted to punish in terms of cash, but it didn't really help him, other than... I guess he's looking to Cold make some extra of money. Weird items where you never really know when you should buy it because when you're behind, it just sets you 
a little bit farther behind, but it gives you that little like. Well, this is his second call. Ring, or Orin's Adorns. Um, wait, what? This is his second call. He had one earlier that he started getting stacks on. I think this is his second call. No way. He's I only think got so. 124 farm. I know. Killed 100 lane minions, got a new one, and now it's at three. Wait, but that doesn't make any sense because you have to it, you have you to only, go down. You only have to kill 100 lane minions. Yeah, but it's it goes it counts down. Oh. <laughs> so if it, if he had bought another call, it would be at like 70. Gotcha. It would be like 80 something. I was gonna say I thought I saw that one. I know it goes down. I didn't know that. Oh, oops. Yeah. See now it's at zero. Oh, look at that. Either way, I guess he's using it. A good way to get some extra money, but. Other than uh, that, I don't think it's right gonna... now. Draven is sitting on quite a hefty number of stacks for his passive. So what is he, he at right now? In, that's Ooh. almost a full item worth of gold. Oh, for sure. And look at Shen, at least three and item. one. Um, look at, yeah, look at the difference. In... Ergot rotating down here. Uh, he's actually only he's not in a good position, on. but they're not going to go for him. Yeah, wow, he's very close. But he has three kills, and so he's helped give gold to his other team, so I think overall he's maybe made the better decision. Yeah. More useful as a champion. For sure. With those teleports bot side, definitely. The only mismatch here is uh, this top lane, and then Ooh. a little bit in the mid lane. Um, Are they going to go for this? That, the Orianna's... Oh, oh gonna... the Orianna getting caught out? Yep, she's getting caught out. The ulti it. coming in from Kaiza, and go that was just an unfortunate ulti. Um, w got her, and then Oriana it's just from there. Way far up. Ooh, a hook that actually almost kills his own Draven there. That was dangerous. <laughs> but you can see the intent. Shen gonna go back top lane, sit up there, try to catch up a little bit. He's not far behind. The gold. Look at the gold difference in Thresh. Sitting almost a thousand above. Ooh, yeah, they're gonna look for this kill. Quite a bit. Nope. They bait the lantern. Well, they see him there, but Sejuani's not far. A lot of wards. We got coming down. <laughs> There's three wards. That's a field day. That's free gold. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a hundred gold for this. Knowledge. And they're just gonna take tower. Spend spend the whole day killing our wards. No problem. We'll take your tower. That's 175 in the pockets of everyone. All right. So Rift Herald, now in the eyes of both teams. Dragon up as well. Kaiza wording dragon. Yeah. Are they going to actually take the dragon? Looks like they, they're going to go for this free dragon here because I don't think they're going to contest a Cloud Drake. Um, but Sejuani moving up towards Rift Herald. I don't know if she has enough to take it by herself. I don't think she's going to be fast enough. I think they can take this and yeah, rotate. She's definitely not going to be fast enough, but with the cast moving over, maybe. Um, uh, are they giving up Rift Herald for. They don't have to. They can still get to it. They can still get yeah. to it. They can move in, pressure it a little bit. Um, oh, backing. what is that? Oh no, they're going for the dive. They're going for the dive on top lane against Shen. That's what they're going for. Yeah, there's no way Shen makes it out. No, there's the chains. Whoa, that's an interesting AI move. <laughs> um, Ori? Oriana getting caught way out as well. Uh, I don't know uh, why Oriana was there. Are they about to all come into this fight late? The health bars are low, but there's still enough there they to stop them. They should not be going in for this. This is not the fight they want to take, not the hill they want to die on, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, they should be looking for setting up around Rift Herald here. They could probably take Rift Herald. I mean, we see the backs come out of them. One mountain drink. Draven does a lot. Of sticking around to maybe clear out some wards, I'm not really sure. Um, so, I forget. Oh, Redbird Esports, right? That's the team we're playing? Yeah, Redbird Esports. Um, so they are up in... They're, they're catching up in kills. Um, in terms of gold, a lot of that gold is on the Urgot. And um, even, despite the past two um, deaths by the Ori, um, she's still up about 200 gold right now. Sitting comfortably um, there, but in a position where she could easily fall behind. In every other role, though... Um, Butler's up in gold by a little bit. Shen getting these extra assists, but he's now a thousand gold behind. And it's the CS difference that's gonna hurt him. Yeah. That but... 50 CS difference is a lot of gold. Yeah. But something top lane going around. MGL wanting to take this rift. His team is yeah. here. Urgot 
has his teleport though. I think they need to. They don't have any vision on Sanjuani, so they don't know that she's bot side. If they did, I think they could pull the trigger on the Rift Herald. Uh, she looks like she's gonna go mid and reveal though. Yeah. Oh, they're pulling the. They're pulling it right now. They think they're gonna do it. So Sanjuani is. All right. Um, Urgot and Shen both have. Shen has ultimate and TP, but Urgot has TP. Um, Shen could cancel the TP and then use his own. He's got the safety of his tower. Uh, they're on Rift Herald right now. And they take it. it goes down. Oh, but they're looking to surround here, but there's I don't think there's any play that they can make here. I think this goes in Butler's they're favor. They're for a fight, but it's very risky with the Nautilus coming up. He's just too tanky, but sitting uh, bot lane is going to be Shen and Urgot. Oriana playing this very, very cheeky. No, she gets caught out. She's going down. And they're going to try and take top tower, actually. They see Cassiopeia in mid, so they're going to throw the rift and at least take Probably a T1 that here. Herald will secure that top tower. Um, they want it. They want to keep keep the Rift Herald going for that second push. They're looking for a fight still. Yeah. Um, I think they're looking for that fight where Shen can TP in before the Urgot. Because um, his his ultimate Ooh. gives it that shield and um, it's a faster TP. Ooh. Nocturne going Oh, in. Nocturne going straight in. Brave as can be, nearsighted, hitting all of them. An early pickoff. going down. The Shen ult being so useful. Teleport Nautilus coming in from going. Urgot, but it's too late. It's too late. They're going to surround right on Urgot, and they're going to... Oh, but they're not focusing him, and he's doing so much damage with that extra gold he's got. Nocturne about very close to Nocturne going down. Nocturne going they're down. Urgot here. Oh, what a Thresh good play. another hook, and Kaisa going down as well. Kaisa, this could be the whole... This is going to be a team kill here. Draven cashing in. Beautiful. And let's look at Fantastic. his gold. How that's, far high did he just jump? That's and a he, five for zero. He's now over a thousand ahead. And Absolutely beautiful. And they're gonna they're gonna at least get an inhibitor for this. It doesn't. Yeah. Nautilus doesn't. Nautilus have that. is coming up with uh, the Cassiopeia. Um, a I think beautiful I, play. It's very risky here. The cast could push him off. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're gonna play it safe. Super careful because the. The boss now five and two. An absolute change mid-season from this player, as the reason for losing many of these games has now switched around and is now as a key part in the reason they're winning. <laughs> the boss the has... Shen pick, man. I mean, the boss is playing this so beautifully. And the change from earlier, it's, it's a whole new player, and it's great to see. All right, we're looking at gold advantages in nearly every lane now. Especially in that Shen lane. He's up a th almost... He's up 200 gold now, <laughs> despite the uh, oh. significant CS yeah, difference. <laughs> yeah, his tower still hasn't gone down. Um, he's he's that's his been his baby. He's Red protected e that thing. Redbird Esports starting up Baron. Oh, I don't know if this is it. They're gonna immediately get called uh, out on this. Oriana's not here. If Shen and Oriana are not here, Nocturne doesn't. He has ultimate. Shen does not, however. He's got um, flash we as have, well. We have they're gonna back out. They're gonna back up, but they're gonna Thresh look for a fight here. In. Trying to pick off the Thresh Shen might end up in the play. Way too deep um Shen's oriana's here. still not here they're down an entire champion that is really annoying on the ai or the ui oh but wow. so much damage coming out from oriana the ori ultimate and thresh just finishing what she started fantastic now they're absolute gonna play baron that's a baron they for them don't have a tank here thresh has to move in here to tank this baron up thresh is coming in mgl taking a lot of damage from baron but uh um, that mountain yeah, drake is gonna make no this way they can test this Mountain Drake um, makes it a little bit easier. We saw it get picked up earlier, and now it's coming into effect here. Yeah. Um, the next dragon coming up after Baron will be another Cloud Drake. It, it doesn't even show one for me. Really? No, I have no symbol. <laughs> 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 it's absolutely uh, empty. Company, by the way. Yeah, okay, now I see the Cloud Drake as it's physically there. <laughs> Do they patch recently, or is this just... I don't... They haven't patched since last week. Uh, well, I was I didn't cast last week, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, so, Kaisa going to pick up a lot of farm here in the bot lane, and it's still going to be she's going to be so far yeah, behind. Yeah, so Draven cashing in on his stacks. Uh, he is now up two k gold, over two k gold on this. Uh, Kaisa. And you see it in the items. Yeah, going to take a free cloud um, Drake. He's got an entire item up on Kaisa. Yeah, I mean he is sitting pretty. It's good to see Centurion finally be able to pull that out, and at such. Yeah. Powerful. It's also very smart of him to pick up that last whisper um, early, especially um, when these their the uh, Redbirds front line is starting to get tanky. Um, and it's the just Nautilus gonna... is starting to pick up his Knight's Vow while Urgot's going for his next tank item. 
Um, and those, once they hit those items, they're going to be very hard for um, Nocturne and uh, Ori to get some damage off on them. Oh. So Butler looking to try Siege to this force here. down some towers. Shen's way um, out of position. Oh, a hook onto Oriana. Shen ultimate. That's a wow. Three, that's a three man. man Nocturne goes in and time. absolutely destroys another team fight being executed so well with Fantastic. the ultimates. Fantastic. This Shen amazing. being able to do whatever he wants from anywhere on the map, and that puts Oriana yeah. to six three, and she is. I mean, the goal difference between her and the Cassiopeia has immediately shot in her direction, especially. I mean, even with that 198 to 168, and they're going to take yep. a free tower and inhibitor, and they're probably going to get both Shen off of this. landing those two crucial taunts onto the back line when they, when they thought they had caught the Oriana a hook? out. A hook not being enough to catch... Oh, they're, uh, are they Draven chasing just destroying these the, the tanks. They don't it's have the armor yet. It's really become a versus one, AI for one him. Auto attack. Nautilus is going to be caught out so far. Not even a challenge to pick and out. There's back at the base. <laughs> yeah, that's super, <laughs> super disrespectful. I don't know if they can say this. We've seen them lose a lot this season. This is pretty yeah. ballsy to be um. <laughs> um, and they picked up that uh that cloud drake earlier too. So Butler just dominating kills. Um, they're up. Over 10k gold right now. Um, They're sitting. They have all of the turrets. This, this is, is the most dominant game we've seen from Butler. This. Oh, this. for sure. Firing on all cylinders for the first time, I think, all year. Um, I'm 100% expecting a Draven ban. Um, probably a Shen ban, too. Uh, yeah, I'd see the ban. Uh, if they ban Shen, I think the ban on Urgot has to come out then. Mm -hmm. Just to keep that away. Um, because I don't know how well so the boss could do this on a scion. There's no more Baron anymore, but Butler's going for this uh Last inhibitor. Oh, oh, they still have a little bit of Baron left. Um Cassiopeia just getting demolished. She's uh, way out of position. Whole team is butter at this point, and Draven is the knife. Yeah, way out of position. This Nocturne also just very, very fed. The Sejuani doing almost nothing except for those early game ganks, which still only got them those slight leads in mid lane, which are completely negated at this point yeah oriana shot so far ahead and draven just getting for funsy shots off and uh they're gonna look to push in here if they can just wait a second to get top to push in as well i could put them but they're just gonna slowly siege this they could loot they they could jump in too early yeah, and overextend they just need to wait this out um, yeah wait for that top lane oh but they're going in any well i can't tell uh, what they're doing <laughs> they're going in and getting okay Oh, he's going right on the back. back line onto the Kaisa. But um, if she's too close. She can just go right back home. But they're doing so much damage Sejuani, against the Sejuani. Going down she's going to go down. Oh, she's going to make it. But they'll, they'll trade and get the Urgot. And I think that gives them a 4 out of 3. I don't think they're going to have any problem closing this uh, out here. Ori does not have mana. Uh, and she's going to go oh, down. Oh, she's turret. done. Well, we know what that no, no, no was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Kaisa doing a lot of damage might here. Pick this up. Draven um, not strong enough. They might finish this. Taking down oh, but both Draven turrets are going down, and that. it's already taking damage. They're going to have to clean this up. Yeah. Um, Baron, not up for a little bit longer, um, but they have no more structures left in this game. No, it's over. It's, <laughs> it, it's, it's 11, 11 to, zero. to 0. This, I mean, this is the first time we can say Butler looks like they're playing their game. A, a Gwinsu is coming out from Kaiza at 26 yep. minutes and 40 seconds. Um, it's too two late. Two items to... Almost four. Yeah, that's um, he's he's about to Draven's looking for his IE. Um, so Butler has to play this not not necessarily careful, but they have to play it slow enough where they don't throw here. They don't want to no. they want to they want to have a clean execute on this uh, Nexus. Push your three lanes button. in, push the three lanes in and just yeah. take your time. Push the lanes in, take your time, sit in their base, get some shots off, maybe look, and you want to look for some <laughs> some sort of engage. They don't need the dragon anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> they really don't. The baron would be a nice pickup, but there's no point in a second mountain at this point. There's nothing, anything else on the map to kill. Um, they might wait for the dragon. Um, the some, as, as Redbird Esports, you're looking to... Wait out for the inhibitors. You honestly, they still have a chance if they can if they can stall hard enough. Yeah, Kaiser will just uh, eventually Kaiser will outpower, and Cassiopeia uh -huh. as well. But at this point, uh -huh. it just looks so in Butler's favor. The 
the top and mid inhibitors are going to re going to be respawning soon. Um, and you want that Draven to be able to pick up his IE before then. And Draven having a lot of cash here. He's looking for... Oh, he has enough to almost finish off IE. I think he's just waiting for 100, 200. I think he'll have no problem finishing that off. Ooh. Yeah, he definitely has it right now. So we're getting the respawning Looks soon back. inhibitors. A hook um, go. They're going to pick up that next Mountain Drake, which will help them with both Baron spawning in a minute. Um, Baron spawning in 15 seconds. They're going to have two mountains on that Baron. Uh, the, the issue is Redbird has to contest this Baron. If they get the Baron, if the other, if Butler gets the Baron, they know they can win this easily. They're yeah. going to push down with Baron. It's um, not going to be a problem. They have their mid and top inhibitors are respawning. Um, their top inhibitor is going to be up any second now. But they've already, but they've, they've already got. Oh, they have no big boys. Yeah, in they're the on lane. Baron. They have zero vision. Yeah, and look at how fast they take that down. Yeah, that's gone. It's basically blue buff at this point. There is no this, worry like, about that. Moving up, like, oh, maybe we can get it. No, no, nope. no way. Not even out of your base. Not even so out of your Butler's base. Butler's just gonna back here, take it slow, push in your waves, and end with the Baron. And there it is. There's the four items out of the Draven, and they're just gonna easily get this one here as they push in. Nocturne getting that bonus base AD from his. Uh, Actually, that skin makes it look really nice, his uh, Q. <laughs> that skin is uh, definitely the one you want to go with. I'm frozen here. Oh, you're frozen? I'm absolutely frozen. Uh-oh. Well, they're running it down mid. Well, <laughs> I, 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 I have no idea. It just froze. Oh, we're back. Uh, my cursor is gone. Oh. <laughs> um, well, they're fighting right now. Okay, I'm a little um, behind. I'm at 20. I'm at... Tw oh, there we go. My curse come back. I'm going to put it back up to the normal one. Oh, they get the double kill. They're going to push it down here. Got here. And both... Kaisa's still alive. She's going to go down. Not on my screen. They're all dead, and they just took the nexus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that technical difficulty a, there, but that's, that's GG. One, and they're going to end out. They're I mean, that's that just a beautiful game. Couple. That is just what you want out of butler esports and that's uh, that's butler's first main roster game win of the season obs frozen there for a second nice to see that league crashing my computer but no we're good we're all good all right i'm gonna hop back over to the team no problem we'll see you in a little bit beautiful game one coming out of butler they're up one nothing in the series we will wait to get reinvited to the next game which will hopefully be the last one of the series. Oh, oops, sorry. It's late. I have a presentation tomorrow. <laughs> uh, beautiful grant round one. Game one coming out of Butler Esports. They'll be looking to do it again. Be resetting up here. That puts Red Bird down one in the series. Uh, things we're going to see. Ban on Shen. Ban on Urgot. Prediction is hopefully we get to see the Nocturne again. It was very well played. We'll spectate here. Teams are setting up. Should only take but a second here. Remember to stay hydrated. No sponsorships. Oh, sparkling water. And uh, you are absolutely frozen on the stream. There it is. There's the four items. Not quite sure what that's about. We'll restart the stream here. See if it stops freezing you. Where are they being unstable here? Not quite sure what this is. Let's take a look. Uh get rid of anything that would make this run not as well. Uh, for the most part, everything looks to be fine though. So hopefully, won't happen again here. I'm just making sure that our connection is a little more stable. Should be all good. Back over to the team. No problem. We'll see you in a little bit. 
Look at that. Coming right back down. One minute here, we'll make this a little bit better. Everything should be a little bit more stable now. So, here's hoping. I had some issues with OBS recently. It's not wanting to work very well. It's using an insane amount of CPU. It's kind of doing its own thing here. Hopefully that made it a little bit better. For some reason my computer's bleh. Not 100% sure what, uh... So I can stream Black Ops, but no. League of Legends, too high res, boys. Too big. Uh, all right, that should hopefully make everything a lot better. And I should make it come through. Uh, we're back to the excellent bit rate. I don't know what the... I have to read more on that to learn how to set it up better. But Butler, use, Butler Esports, all set up here in this game. And uh, we're going to get right into this. Both teams look ready here. Oh, shit. We good. And there we are. Now, switching everything up here. Butler is going to be on the left, on the blue side with first ban. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Urgot come out. It wasn't the reason for losing, but it does make it a little nice. They're going to go with the Rangar again. Well, the first ban, take another juggle. See the Zillion ban again. There's not going to be mirrored bans. Are they not going to ban anything now? I would be surprised if this is the same band. And we don't see a ban on Shed. I respect it, but I would be surprised. Lead ban coming out. Maybe I'll be proved wrong here. Look at that. Coming right back down. The warrior spirit is never broken. In Zao ban. Well, we might just see mirrored bans here. I'm very surprised. They might be thinking here, do we want to ban the other guy? Nope. No ban on Shen either. Looks like both teams were happy with what they had and what they picked. The Nocturne ban is going to be what changes it up, though. Almost tricking them there, saying, oh, we're going to ban the same stuff, and then... Gotcha. Uh... First pick here. I would be surprised if we see the Shen picked again, to be honest. Thresh, actually Thresh. I would choose Thresh over Shen here. Hoffenator plays a great Thresh. I mean, it's hard not to say that his hooks, I mean, what? He hooked, at least in big team fights, he had at least six hooks that left let to kills that would not have led to kills beforehand, and one that led to an all-team kill. But Shen is going to be picked up first. I guess that's before you get the ban on it. Uh... What does Redbird pick here? What what didn't work for them last game? And it looked like it was mobility was their biggest loss. But they're going to lock the Graves in before it gets banned. They want that. They want it on, on lanes. They want a better jungler. And taking out the Nocturne too, meaning we're probably going to see an Olaf come out of MGL here. Or he might switch it up and go Zach. I just want to see the Zach in a competitive play. Okay. We could see a top lane Kennen. And we do. Kennen being picked up. I don't imagine that it will be anything other than top lane. AD carry Kennen at this point would just be trolling. Looking to play champions to throw Shen off. I can't imagine that he's had a lot of practice against a Kennen. Can't imagine anyone has. That's season 7. Second pick comes in here. They're going to take the Draven again. They were happy. It did a lot of damage. If it was able to cash in a little bit earlier, the spike would have been earlier, but you got to be happy either way. Next pick coming out. Uh, We want to see something else on that mid lane. They haven't banned a Malzahar yet, but instead they're going to go with the Thresh before the second ban phase. I actually think that's a good pick there. Secure the three champions that were used very well last game. Keep that going. Oh, sorry for the yawning. 
and uh, let that be the stone they sit on. And then the mid we can kind of move, jungle we can kind of move. Malzahar being picked up. We're not going to see it in the band, but Malzahar being picked up for Redbirds. What did they ban here? They don't really know what to ban. The three things they would have banned or needed to ban next are already up on the board. I guess they target mid lane, take out the Ari like they did last time, but that was never in the pool to begin with. Uh... <laughs> gonna get a wow the ban on alistar 100 ban rate they're like ah whatever we don't want to see it we're not gonna ever be able to play it oriana ban coming out meaning we're gonna have to see something different in that mid lane gonna have to pull something i'm hoping a morgana is the pick here there's already a lot of damage with that draven get jungle something he can do a lot of damage on and then just sit with the Mor morgana and thresh and just start picking people off left and right i think that's the move to make Shen? Or not Shen. Uh, they're actually going to ban the Morgana instead. I'm not quite sure why. Mid lane's already picked. I guess they just want to take it out of the support pool. Something that could stop Draven. So then what are these picks? We see the... <laughs> we see the Blitzcrank. Ooh. Kai's being picked up again. Not too surprising. I'm okay with this. Nope, just trolling. Gonna be the Olaf pick. Like I mentioned earlier. Gonna go towards MGL, something he's comfortable on. He's played it a lot. He's been very successful on it. He's able to stay aggressive in the lanes while he's still able to help out in the endgame team fights. He plays a good Olaf. I have no idea what's gonna be the pick here for bid. It needs to be a carry. I think it has to be someone... Oh, God. Has to be a carry. Has to be someone who... Uh... Can do a lot for the team very early. LeBlanc coming out. This I'm curious. I don't think I've ever seen a LeBlanc played by Renegade. But hopefully that is what we get to see here. Nope. Lissandra being picked in. A good solid pick. Mid lane against Malzahar. Uh, yeah, the ult is going to help for CC later in team fights. They can run in there with Olaf and disrupt anything the other team is trying to do. Not a lot of tankiness coming out of either, or coming out of Redbirds. Of course, Butler has the Shen, and they have the Olaf to an extent in terms of tankiness. Nautilus is going to be picked up in the bot lane, so we're going to see mirror bot lane pickups, and top is going to be a little bit different. But this will be one hell of a game, that's for sure. And we'll wait a moment for Ben to come and join us. They're going to choose their loadouts here. Nothing too surprising. Going to be double teleport coming out of Graves and Malzahar. Malzahar going to be used as a utility for his alt. Pretty much just going to run around and alt whoever he can. Kind of in top lane, Graves, yeah, jungle. A scary team than last time. If not, well, if not because Graves is a lot more dangerous in the jungle than Sejuani. And they're going to have to watch that. That's someone who has very fast jungle clear and can start fighting in team fights a lot earlier. It's, uh, it's going to be rough. But a good pick coming from Butler Esports. This could be the time they pull through here. Second game going in. Butler Esports is up one. And now we just wait for the two minute, 55 second spectator delay. And we get Ben here. Weird that we have to have a spectator delay. And we have to have a uh, stream delay of Two minutes, I think it is. Yeah, 120 seconds, two minutes. So, yeah. Now we just play the waiting game. Always fun to find out. If I had to guess here, it looks like if Lissandra works. Oh, Lissandra actually picking up TP. Quite a change here. You're going to have a lot of movement. A lot of movement out of Butler's team with the double TP. Trip, well, double TP plus double TP top. Alrighty. Yeah. So we got... What did we been last? Oh, Morgana. Morgana, Alistar, Camille, Kled, Rengar. And then Zillions and Zao, Nocturne, Ari, Oriana. 
Very interested to see how this goes here. Uh, really strong team comps out of both teams. If not, a little bit less for Redbirds, but also kind of balances out with the fact that I doubt that DeBoss has played against a lot of Kennen top lanes. Can't imagine that's a... Uh... Not. Yeah, so their bot lane matchup's the exact same from last game. So it should be pretty even just because nothing really happened until um, there were junglers involved. Um, because the first thing that happened last game was when the Sejuani came down uh, and the Shen TP'd back. Or TP I think he, he either TP'd or ulted uh, to save one of them and they got uh, a kill. All we can hope for is, once again, Shen. I, I want to see how Shen plays against Kennen. Urgot, one thing he countered. That's okay. Whatever, it happens. But Kennen can be very aggressive and very powerful. Yeah, so the Kennen matchup, that's going to be a weird one. Just because we're expecting the Kennen to go AP, and if he's not going AP, he's trolling. Um... I, I was I was waiting to see if they were just gonna be like ah fuck it we're zero six let's just have Ken and eighty carry I was kind of thinking that a little bit I was like you know well I guess I, I was surprised they picked uh so we picked Draven first round I'm surprised they picked the Kaisa again because Draven smashes Kaisa up until she gets three items and they didn't even get that last game not even yeah yeah um she, I mean what she have she had like one and a half two maybe <laughs> she she. Maybe at the very end. No, because she picked up Gwinces when yeah. they just before they started the final Baron. So I don't yep. think she was even able to. Um, so it's really going to come down to whether this top lane Kennen can do the same amount of work that the Shen did last game, because the Shen was critical in a lot of those team fights, while the Urgot did basically nothing. Um, he he won lane. The Urgot won the lane, but what does that do if the Shen wins every team fight? There we go. Yeah. And Olaf here, uh, the, the big issue also is Graves is actually a jungler. And he's a good jungler, too. Mm -hmm. The Graves is a scary one, though. Yeah, Dark Harvest. He's, yeah. He's going to be looking to punish. If it's ahead, he's going to be able to get in your face and just two-shot you. <laughs> um, but we have the Olaf specifically for the ability to run you down. Um, I'm in. Are you in? I am not. I'm in super fast. What is happening? It was lagging apparently on the stream last time, last game, but now it's I pushed off a bunch of stuff and now it's I'm caught all the way up to about 14 seconds. Teams are leaving the bases. That is a Still cool. Loading. Oh, now I'm in. I am at 21, 22, 23, 23. 24. Yeah. Now We're going to see scoreboard work. Nope. Mm. Tabs working at least, but nope, I yeah, still can't turn off time controls. It... Ah, good old broken. Jungle going mid lane, a good point here. No, the Graves is going to start red, but they don't see it yet. Boy, I'm Nautilus. Deserving the question mark, but there's no one there to punish him. Thresh really can't do anything about it. That's so weird. Why does the scoreboard not work? It is what it is sometimes. Oh, no. Right, fix your game. Eventually, right? Make me better at it first. <laughs> Make me better, then fix your game. Why do I have to suck? <laughs> <laughs> Five point start. Um, Rush throwing that ward down and then moving towards Tribush is interesting. I just found out I can use the one, two, three, four to switch between champions really quickly. Who does it switch with? It's lined up on left to so like left side is one, two, three, four, five. Right side is Q, W, E, R. Wow, T. interesting. I know. Pretty normal here. Lissandra mid lane, if she gets ahead, she's just going to be an absolute steamroll, especially in team fights with the Olaf. That's going to be punishing. Uh, they're going to cheese bot this. They're, they're going to cheese this. Um, oh, wow. Like, and they're punishing a lot of damage on Kaisa, the forcing flash. the flash. Nautilus is not really going to take a lot of damage, but um, really so we well executed. Flash for, for a... Uh, that Thresh's Ignite. <laughs> that's what that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah. And even so, Kaisa's now coming into lane, and she's great skin by Draven. That's a cool skin. But Kaisa down half health into lane. That's not something you want. And that's, that's even what I mid lane. In the mid lane. Getting a little bit of get out of here, but just letting the rock boy hit him. Yeah, this Draven 
just taking the reins. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's my favorite Draven skin, the, the Christmas oh. one. <laughs> every, time, every time you cash in, it's sleigh bells. <laughs> Oh, I've got to watch that skin this entire game. Okay, I need to stop looking at him. Top lane, cannon, being a bully. Yeah. But um, he's even go he picked up the, the Doran's Blade, so I'm not really sure whether he's going for... I know Cannon doesn't have mana, um, but I'm not... I guess I guess Doran's Blade's probably the only thing you go for. Yeah, um, I believe you for... start Doran's Blade no matter what, AP or AD, just because it's yeah. security when it comes to CSing. Oh, Graves running mid lane again. Very nice juke Beautiful. there. Beautiful. And goes right back in, not even worried. Mm -hmm. Playing this game um, very kind. So they know Graves is topside. Um, Olaf going for a full clear here. Um, so is Graves. He picked up. Okay, so Olaf a little, just a little bit faster than this Graves clearing. And that just comes down to uh, skill level, I think. Here, I think Olaf. I think MGL is a little bit better of a jungler. Olaf also is just—he's a super fast clearer. He's a monster. Plus, plus Graves wasted time going for that gank mid. And look at the CS difference already bot lane. Yeah, um, but look at the CS difference already top lane. <laughs> but that was last game too, so you know it is what yeah. it is. Sometimes Shen getting bullied. We knew that would happen. Never played it up against a cannon. Can't blame him. It's not something you see too much nowadays. It's gonna fall off. I think in the late game, compared oh, to Shen's ability. Oh, that's just the, and CSing well too. Look at that. Oh, he's, he might get all of them. Oh, ah, uh, got all the ones he could. God bless him. Graves going top lane, but he's just gonna decide. Yeah, go for his Krugs. Yeah, he's like, ah, I'm going for the Krug boys. Mid lane. Oh, that's gonna be a kill. Mid lane. Wow. There we go. First blood already going to Lasagna. I, bullying I that, that again. <laughs> bullying that Malzahar. As How did that happen? I. Uh, I, I went to it when she had him caught in ice, and it was just Wow, nice... he just did not respect that at all. She's the still... Malzahar not burning flash for that. She's, he still doesn't respect it. Yeah. He's coming back, and he pops spell shit when he comes in, but he's already taking damage. And it's um, close. Teleporting was... back in, and they... Oh, she, what is she doing? He, oh, they're going goes, for the kill! He goes down to half health. Um, already. And he's I already he got might be a little down. bit behind. And it's a free two gold for Olaf. Taking out the jungle creeps from Malzahar. Um, uh, I'm at 5.05. Oh, 5.05. Oh, five. 6. Yep, it just stuttered a little eight, bit for me. Seems to happen. I'm at 9. nine ten. 10. Perfect. And bot lane, Draven is just having a nice calm game here. He's relaxing. He's getting some CS. And just getting ready. Building up those stacks. Loading up the sleigh. And yep. going to get ready to cash in. What's the max on those stacks? What can you get to before it stops? Um, it's infinite. Wow. That's yeah. gonna be... Um, as wow. Long as he a lot of damage in. on Nautilus really early. Yeah, he doesn't have those tank stats yet. Oh, but the ward way up there gives them vision of graves. That's a yep. really good ward. Giving them that vision of graves gives them that security that they need to be able to push up this far in the bot lane. But Malzahar, is he warding? Looking to rotate? I think he's looking here. I don't know why he's going to leave Lissandra mid lane, though. They're going to be looking at this. Mountain Drake is up first, um, but they see that. They, they ping missing for Graves, so he they know he's somewhere around here. Um, they need to be careful. Um, Good CS Lissandra, from Lissandra. Bullying. Finally Malzahar. able to have a winning lane. <laughs> yeah, it's about time. Point. Graves is coming up, though, but Olaf's going to be at Raptors. Uh, yeah, Olaf's right here. Uh, Malzahar... She's gonna, gonna pop the ulti. Herself. Smart. She's um, gonna use her. Shen ulti. Oh they're wow, gonna go they're gonna go in. Picking, they're uh, gonna get one. Shen ulti's gonna come through. Though. Olaf's gonna go down. Oh, I think uh, Shen oh, just and needs he to takes escape. Graves mm -hmm. flashing Q. Yep. Giving Graves a double kill this early might hurt them uh, later. A but... little misplay from Butler there. Two yeah. for one. Probably could have played it safe and not gone in. Yeah. And now um, I'm not sure it. whether they needed the Shen TP there. They just pick you pick up the the Malzahar kill, and then Shen just took way too many free tower shots there. Yeah, I mean it's gonna allow the other team to allow Redbirds to catch up here. But in the bot lane, oh, they're going for the kill Raven there. Raven just Raven's does so much in. damage. Already cashing in a lot earlier than last game, which you want to see, and that gives him um, and a thousand CS here, and a thousand Great CS lead. Here. 
Oh, the hook is gonna come off. But uh, Graves. Oh, and his ultimate picks up the kill. Uh, max range too, I bet. But even so, um, Draven with cashing in just got a thousand up on uh, Kaiza. That's beautiful. That's what he needed. He's gonna be seriously. He's gonna be hard to deal with when he comes back in lane. Yeah. She's um, gonna be. He's gonna pick up that BF sword. He's so close to getting that storm razor already. He's gonna be so dangerous so early. Allowing to cash in early was maybe even worth the death there for sure. And Shen attempting to bully Kennen here. He's got a big wave. He doesn't want Kennen to get any of it. He's already. He's only in between by eight right now. That's not oh, bad. Man. Picking up the blue, um, Lissandra able to push out Malzahar. And she is just going to clear so well against this Malzahar. Just giving him a little hard time there. Nautilus, wording the same spot three different times, really. Spotting out, Malzahar spotting out the Lissandra, trying to back here. Um, Look at those three wards, all of the exact same spot, basically. The vision Olaf, is... I believe Olaf just picked up this Graves. Oh, no, he threw a ward down. He was looking for the red, um, but there's that pink now on the war or on uh, Graves red. That's gonna be a lot of vision here. Top lane, uh, yeah, they were closer a second ago. It is what it is. Bot lane though, Draven's back in lane, and he's he's an angry man, and he's got a nice advantage here, and he's just gonna keep building stacks and waiting for that next kill opportunity. He's already at 26. Wow. Graves, though, is going to look to punish this. Malzahar coming down, too, for the rotation. They see this coming, though, and they're going to play it smart and run right back to tower. All right, so Ooh. this is where we see the struggle for that first Mountain Drake. It's going to be Fish a rough contents. Fought for. Um, Graves is bot side, so they have to be very careful here, and I don't think they know he's here. Um, they spotted him earlier, but they knew the Malzahar rotated. But Olaf is down here as well. Might just play this safe. Both teams are going to yep. look to take this dragon. Graves. Olaf. Nautilus moving in. Oh, here they are. Board. And now they see that there's something there. There it is. Olaf rotating in. Gonna go for they that. don't see him at all. Olaf just gets immediately up caught up. Completely. Wow. Um, but they pick up the kill here. Um, they get the, the kill on Nautilus. And that's Draven cashing in. And that's going to put him now... Um, eh, about the Malza, same spot. They're going really, really hard. And they might get this Kaiza. Yeah. Oh, but the suppression that comes was out of Malzahar. Play. Yeah. A little too greedy right now in this game. Yeah. And they put themselves Thrash behind. caught the hook, but he went in and left the Draven behind to be ulted by the Malzahar. Yep. And it was it's just they need to slow down here. Remember that they're not winning this game yet. They won last game. Need to separate the two, but they're going to look to get a kill on Kennen here yeah. as a way to say, you know, well, we'll retaliate here. Shen going in so strong already. Alti coming There's, out of Kennen is going to get the stun. <laughs> no, he's he is so dead. What an awesome skin, too, for Lissandra. And she's taking a CS because, uh, you know. Um, Nautilus there. sitting up here in the tri bush. I don't know something. what he's waiting for. He's so far behind this Lissandra. If she spots him, that's going to be damage central. Oh, and they spot him. Well, Shen's here, too. Graves is coming in, though. They're <laughs> going to run. Her, her, oh! There. She's going to go down here. Oh, and, she's forced to flash. Oh, that's not going to save her, though. Oh, no. The Teleport Shen, coming Shen has in. to leave her. Shen's got to run. Oh, she's getting a lot of damage off either she way. She has her EF grave. soon. There's no, oh, no, she's going to go down. Yeah, there's um, nothing she can do about that. Putting a lot of pressure at the spot side, though. Nautilus being but, top lets them potentially take down this first turret they might i think they get it here they have enough minions yeah kaiza's not she's, uh Malzor she's... are teeping in here Ooh, that Did might have it? stops it not quite no smart move to back off there they know that they're not in worry of losing first tower to the other team but they are just barely down in gold here walking themselves uh, into a corner. running up Ooh, flash out of cannon the Olaf damage. Olaf does not care though. Olaf is still going in, but the stun's gonna set him back. Oh, uh, Graves! No. Uh, oh. Does, oh. Okay, Shen has the damage, but Shen gets it, but he's dead out. to the Graves. There's, There's no way he gets out. Oh, and he takes another turret shot. He takes another, and that's gonna put Graves at four. That's the first turret though. And that's why we saw the ban on Graves the first and time. The Nautilus flashing away from the Draven. I mean, the Draven is the real is gonna be you know even the Lissandra though she's even in gold with the Malzahar, but she's doing a lot of damage. Yeah, um, the Graves 
is very, very strong right now. He's Olaf got four kills, three assists. Taking Rift Herald by himself. Not a lot of health. Not being able to proc that back hit. There we go. So, if, if it's Olaf, he should be able to pick up this Herald here. Um, oh. Once that goes down, it's going to go towards that dragon. And the dragon so is going to be that. It's still the they same They should mountain. probably be looking... They. Butler should be looking to use the Rift Herald top or mid. Um, and this Drake is the next objective on the map. And Redbirds know it too, and they're trying to get some early vision here. Wow. Hook on to Kaisa. Thresh really going in there. Gets the hook on to Kaisa. Lissandra comes in. She's and gone. Kaisa's going to go down to Thresh. Absolutely disappeared. Lissandra chasing Nautilus down the Nautilus. As well. Graves is coming in. Um, the Thresh flash hook not connecting. Graves can't 3v1, though. That's his biggest worry. Uh, Malzahar moving Malzahar up Malzahar coming in, though. If he can get onto the Draven... That could really change this, but they're going to safely Kenan's get out of here. Kenan's also here. Um, this is their... Jen has no ult. Oh, he has ulti now, um, but he ha he also has TP. They're going to back off, let Shen get some CS here, let him catch up, and then, you know, they've already got a tower. They know that the uh, they know Redbirds can't take Drake, so... Yep. Oh, Redbirds going to go for it anyways. Nice, uh... Are Redbirds going for this? They, there's a vision of this dragon. I mean, yeah. the vision's right there. Butler sees this. Lissandra's staying mid. Oh, they're just trying to scare him Forcing off. Forcing him off. Yeah, they don't want to fight this. Um, Thresh uh -oh. out of uh -oh. position. Uh-oh. Who, if that hook had connected. That was a dead Thresh right there. Draven coming down. Kennen's back in top lane. Um, no teleport Shen's for Kennen, backing. though. Let's... Shen... Shen? The ulti coming down on Lissandra. Shen ulting onto the Lissandra. And that's just to keep her alive there. Olaf looking here. And Shen now he has to go top again. Um He's gonna he's, he's gonna have TP, though. Yeah, skills are um, TP. And, and it does not. And that's the advantage of having that Shen with TP on it. Um so there's two TPs up right now on Butler's side. Um and zero map pressure um in terms of global coming down from Redbird. Looking for a pick, mid lane. Um, this this mountain drake still, still alive. No one's, no one's been able to take it just yet. Um, Harold is also still ticking. Um, it's a little less than half right now. They're gonna take the dragon. Yeah, they're going for dragon. They turn Ooh, on to it. Redbirds uh, is looking for Redbirds it. Redbirds should be looking to fight. Uh, Shen has TP, but this, so they'd be giving up. I think they're just going to burn it down too fast. That's going to be first mountain over to Butler once and again. Two games in a row here. The objective Very careful control. here. Malzar doesn't have ulti, though. Malzar doesn't have ulti. Shen is half health, though. So if he TPs in, I mean, he's well, taking I mean, damage from the cannon. Yeah. There's no way the, t the Shen TPing in right now. It's not going to help him too much. He is about halfway up to his ultimate cooldown. Draven's um, going to keep CSing in the bot lane and try to keep that advantage where it's at right now, which is 1,400 above. Well, 1,000. Redbirds mid and top TP should be up soon. Um, the Kennen's not going to be able to do as much damage anymore to the Shen now that he's starting to finish his magic resist item. This is this, this is slowly turning in the favor of Butler here as they're up about 1,000 in gold. But there's the Rift Herald top lane. Graves um, is up here. The rotation Graves, comes out. Three... There's three topside. Um, that tower's not low Lissandra's enough. Lissandra's gonna for them. try to put mid. Lissandra's gonna try to push mid here. Well, um, they're. I don't think they're gonna get off this Rift Herald. They might. Oh, Thresh uh, comes in. Oh, about to charge. Um, but that turret's not gonna go down just yet. No. But I guess it is a little bit of push damage. Might have been better used elsewhere, but. Um, it. I think that was one of those desperate moves, just because it was. Uh, gonna run right out of Ooh, yeah. these thresh hooks looking more and more dangerous they see the lissandra over that wall they're gonna lissandra. go for it near side she's way caught up oh, there we go there's the thresh thresh lantern her. coming in clutch that thresh being a real buddy to everyone on the team but lissandra pushing so far in here i understand the three yeah, and very, one but very aggressive lissandra play. she's behind in gold compared to the melzahar still lissandra getting immediate Ooh. ulti onto herself yeah. um, she's not even gonna waste time with that the one. melzahar there's the suppression just gonna go down. it's just so think... much I'm not sure whether she would have been blown up immediately if she hadn't waited, if she hadn't ulted immediately. I think um, Malzahar would have suppressed her anyways. I think she was dead no matter what. Probably just might have wanted to keep on to the ultimate anyways. Yeah. Uh, and here's the cannon. 
coming in. Oh, using that ultimate so successfully, but Draven doing so much damage, and they're taking a lot Malzahar. of free. Malzahar goes down to Going tower. down to Draven, uh, and Olaf running down. Uh, he's gonna go down. They just have too much damage. Oh, uh, trying to chase here. Kaiser could jump in. Kaiser could jump in and finish this. She's uh, got Draven flash. Has to back. Shen here a little too late to the party. But their health bars are very low, and Lissandra's coming back in, and they're baiting with the Draven here. They want to bait with it, and they want to see if they'll jump on it. Oh, or just and use it as damage. Wow. So much coming out of. Wow. The turret. Able to... The deal, MVP. Able to deal damage to that Nautilus, uh, and locking, being locked down by the, uh, the Shen taunt. And they're going to take mid-tower, and they might get bot... Uh, no, they're not going to get top tower, but they're going to get mid-tower here. And that's just more gold towards Draven. Yeah, Draven uh, is sitting on a lot of gold right now. Now you see why they haven't been able to play it. Everyone wants to ban it. No one wants to deal with it. It's yeah. too powerful. There um, we go. Baron is the next big objective that's going to be spawning on the map coming up in 135. <laughs> Top turret still low. Looks like um, they're going to try to take it down right now. Yeah. Um, Do they have enough? And Nautilus are moving up. I don't think they're going to be able to get it. No. The rotation's a little too fast, and they don't have enough clear. Yeah, there's there's four members moving up here uh, on red side. Draven's going to go mid, then. Or go bot. Lissandra moves up very, very... She's very far in. And that's the stun the comes ultimate. off, but... Nautilus is right there, though. Look at him. Running, um, charging Draven's into the battle. Lane. And Draven's bot lane. Draven is bot lane. I mean, they knew he was going to go there. Shen ulting onto Lissandra. Not a... Maybe they just, just to enough to here. keep her alive. Shen's gonna That's go down. That's two for zero because That's way too much Raven damage. is not there. Uh, Lissandra playing a little too aggressive on there. She's playing yeah. aggressive, but she's she's they down were gold. Very Even... very aggressive when they didn't have their AD. Their AD had to go. Somebody had to go bot lane just to save that turret. But because he hid and they went too aggressive, they lost two members plus that top turret. And all the gold is on Draven. He's sitting at nine thousand. The next closest is mid, and she's down. Almost a thousand out of Malzahar. They're gonna have to yeah, be very careful how they play this if they if they want to. Far ahead. And they're gonna get two free towers off this. And Kaiza behind by three thousand gold of Draven, but they've not been able to use Draven in an effective way so far. Besides the laning phase, we need to see them use him in teamfights. Thresh going, oh, cute, cute move by Thresh there. <laughs> all right no. baron is the next objective that's up dragon will be spawning in another minute and um, it is this one is it is cloud it's not going to be it's not going to be top priority by we've anyone. only had cloud <laughs> well we've had weeks where only infernals spawned and now we've got only cloud and mountains yeah i, I actually kind of like the inf cloud mountains more because it could go either way still the infernals when you get three or like infernal drakes yeah it's very the first three dragons. Um, yeah. again the Lissandra being aggressive. Super aggressive. And they're going to take oh, down. Oh, they're going to catch Malzahar and they're going to ulti on him. He's uh, gone. But Lissandra might fall to the Kaiser here. The tower Lissandra. shot's going to secure he that. He doesn't quite have that Zonius. No. Close, though. Close to getting that, that extra armor. Not going to be enough, though. Surprised she hasn't picked up the stopwatch. Oh, they're yet. trying. The Draven's right there. If, if Draven doesn't get <laughs> jumped on, look. it's going to be a good position. I don't know how that yeah. disconnects. Just a little out of the range. Ooh, Draven the first one, though. That's not what you want. Yeah. It's very smart of Draven to have picked up that QSS. Oh, yeah. Um, just in case they do get that Malzahar ulti. Um, and they're going to be able to pick up this. I wouldn't, as Redbird, I wouldn't fight this. Uh, just because it's not worth it? Well. Oh, they might get and a And that's a two-man Shen ulti. There um, it is. But Lissandra's not there. She's just now coming in. And Draven picked off immediately. Yeah. Not a, another bad team and fight. That is a 4v5. Yeah. Not a single one of them going down. These team fights are just not fights they want to be taking. I don't know why they're taking fights down, people. I mean, you see that the health bars are low, and it, all you can think is maybe if there's yeah. one more person in that fight, well, wait for him. The only gold advantages they do have is on this Draven, and they need to be able to protect him. It's closing so soon, though. Only up by a little over 1,000 now. Almost 2,000, but still. TP coming out, they're going to rush the Baron. There's... I don't think they can stop this. No. 
I don't think there's anything they can do. Olaf just now respawning. That Draven ulti, not quite able to get it. But at least it confirms what they're all thinking, and they're going to see it there in a second. Wait, does top tower right. go down to the minions? No. Butler needs to play this very slow. Um, we need to play around the Draven, and picking the right fights is very, very key. Red buff going to be given to Draven. That's going to help. We need to watch for being caught out because that's what's been catching us a lot is um, us taking fights uh, where we're not ready. Both teams carry is getting red buff. Game's starting to come a little bit closer here. At this point, Graves is the AD and Kais is coming up. Um, but it's going to be scary when she... Not even that far ahead just because he had to pick up that QSS and he is... He does have a little bit more damage, but other than that, she Kais is going to be seven kills. Yeah, Kais is going to be able to pick up uh, her next item in a little bit, and that's when she starts to become scary. Here, teams are playing around this bot lane jungle. Uh, um, could... Thresh mm. getting running into the Nautilus. Nautilus has a lot of armor. He's just yeah. not going down well. Nautilus picking up an extremely early. Uh... Oh, that was funny. That was a that was that went through four people to hit Thresh. But look at this. It's just more fights that. Yeah, Butler Butler's should... leaking. What are, what are they looking for here? They should be mid lane defending tower in their bot lane, trying to yeah, defend Butler a tier. Bleeding gold very very fast. And right and look, I mean the gold difference is there right now. Kai's is going to take that pop. Alessandra going to get. Ooh, good play there. Good juke to keep her alive. Draven picking up more and more gold, trying to do the best he can, but Kai's is closing that gap with him. Thresh looking for fights here against a Nautilus. Might not be the one to take. Got a Kennen bot lane. Trying to make a play there. But, uh, Shen. By Shen. Going in on the Kennen, but he's, he's by himself. People were there. Yeah. They could have killed him there. Um, Graves is pushing top lane. Their Baron still has a little bit of time left. It is going to be close here. Yeah, Nautilus neglecting gar or going for that gargoyle stone plate. And now yeah, he's... that's what lets him be very, very tanky for a few moments in that combat, letting him get caught out um, and survive. They're going to bait him into doing that, and then they're just going to see the damage collapse around it. I don't think he does enough damage where they need to necessarily worry about him unless he's on that back line. Yeah, I think the problem is that if you run into him and they caught him, they catch him out, there's no way they're going to kill him if he has the stone plate up. Yeah, it's just too strong. And the cooldown on it is incredibly low. It's 90 seconds. It's going to be up almost every major fight. Yeah. And they're just um, going to have to Again, the Graves around. is up. Th he's on three and a half items right now. Well, now we have the Scimitar. So we finish the Silver Sash there and we get some damage with it. And that's another 50 attack damage, which is going to be nice for Draven. But it's, uh... It's going to be an uphill battle for Butler here. This is the point where Butler's team comp starts falling off. They need to be um, able the to... The Kaisa is going to start picking up a lot more of these kills. Uh, getting that, getting more items uh, will make her that extremely powerful late game AD carry. And looking for these awkward fights, Butler is searching for something here. Not even sure I don't think themselves what they want to do. Yeah, they need to be very careful um, with moving into their jungle. Like right now, if Olaf moves up too early, he can get locked down before he can pop his ulti. They're looking around. Graves, Graves. Are trying to bait. And they're going to blow Oh, this what guy. a hook, though. And they're going to go in for it. And they're going to surround him. Draven's going to come gonna in and finish that up. No. Very nice pick, but Both there's no chances on the map. Both teams playing very safe. Cloud Drake coming up here in 41 seconds, but it's just going to be more movement. Actually, more movement speed might be what Butler needs right now to help secure kills. Taking away a little bit of that vision wouldn't hurt us all. Wouldn't hurt either. Shen. He's got some good MR. He's got Spirit Visage, but now to counteract that Graves, he needs to get a good amount of armor here, and it looks like he's going to go for Sunfires. Oh, um, but Kaiza. Shen is very far up. And Kaiza's a hungry, hungry hippo. 
but she's gonna play it safe. He can ulti away. They're gonna. Butler's looking for this Cloud Drake, but the why cannon's moving it? up behind them. Yeah, why prioritize Cloud Drake right now? Do they know? They can see the cannon. They oh, they don't have this bush warded. They can't. They see don't the see cannon. the cannon. They don't know. Oh, now they know cannon's there. Um. A good zoning by Thresh, almost getting that hook. And that's right, so as actually Butler, not a bad play. You want to set up for Baron. They have a lot of vision on that bot side, but there's no vision um, towards that next objective, which is up in, one, in 130. Ooh, 4% movement speed tripled when out of combat, so that's 12% movement speed for each player when chasing down. The stream seems to be lagging. I apologize for that. I'm not quite sure what the issue is. I'm going to have to take a look at that off stream and see if I can fix that. It seems to be like a weird every once in a while sort of thing. Huh. Not sure. I will look into that, though. Yeah, so honestly, I think this game is going to come down to whether Butler can play around the Draven. Ooh, Thresh. Lissandra out of position right now, though. Well, she has TP, but Kennen as well. They get a hook here, but they're not wanting to commit. 40 seconds. Both teams are going to move forward at it, move forward towards it. Shen electing to just clear top lane a little bit. I know he's going to go back before the fight. You know he has ulti. Ow. My bad, people on the stream. Redbird looking to get this Baron probably on spawn. They have a lot of vision out here. They are seeming to control this. Kennen's still going to be bot lane. He'll have TP. Shen bot lane. His ult will beat the TP. Ooh, Lissandra taking some shots. Just clearing out some of the vision. Lissandra very far in. Yeah. Getting chunked down to half health. Already. This bush right here, you want to be super careful. It's very Nautilus They've seen it. That hook. They see it in there. Kennen going back, probably going to join his team at Baron. This could be the one time where uh, Butler looks to attack here. But uh, wanting to play it so safe and so careful. And they're going to start up the Baron. Malzahar I'm coming ahead in the end back. of this game. Are they giving this Baron up? No, they see There's it now. There's no way they're, they, they, they're, it's too slow. They're not up in the Olaf flashing in, not. Oh, you're ahead of me. Able to get that steal. Instead, the fight is going to elect to be in Redbird's favor. Yeah. They're going to. There's the kind of doing so much damage and the. And I think that might able to be ultimate. The and run towards that back line. And that's the nail in the coffin. The cannon is up up in a lot of CS, and we see it across the board here besides. Bot's they're still gonna finish out. Draven's still ahead, but not enough to make up for his team. Disappointing second game here after playing so dominantly in the first game. Yeah, I think this game really came down to the Graves doing so much damage in that mid game, uh, mid early game. And then the cannon pulling through in the late game. And All right, we we're will... going to be going to game three. I think I this think is this the is first the... time we've had a game three. Um, at Did least they... on stream. We had a game three last week, but... Oh, yeah, they didn't stream the our... second game. Yeah, it was with our uh, our emergency roster. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Where I played top lane. <laughs> oh god, and then I know. Hey man, I I was beating a uh, diamond one top laner. I know Bino and Cayman were on the team too, so that must yeah. have been a fun one. All right, um, I will be back for game three. No problem. I'm gonna mess around and see what's going on with the stream being so laggy. We'll take a look here, people. No worries. I don't know why he's doing this. OBS, what's wrong with you, buddy? Uh. Bit rate, mer. Ooh. 
2,500. Huh. I really wish I knew more about this. Oh. Might be, I wasn't. <laughs> I'm on the team now, boys. My apology. Uh. So let's see, resolution. Oh god. I think it should be 4,000 to 8,000 kbps. Hmm. A little bit of uh, maintenance on the spot here. Uh... Hmm. Go to 4,000. And hopefully it doesn't crash. Wish me luck, gentlemen. And that'll either make it significantly better. Or worse, and I'll crash everything. And we'll have no stream. In which case it is what it is. Let's take a look here. Uh, it didn't change anything. I did click it. Looks like Butler's gonna ready up here. But in the meantime, I'm gonna. Hey! Hmm. If not, I'll promise that I will focus on the bitrate afterwards and see if I can fix that. If anyone knows a lot about what the bitrate should be, please hit me up. I don't think it'll change till next time I end stream and start, so hopefully it's not too bad as we go into the second game here. But we are going to get into the picking and ban phase, and the first the first ban you're going to get is Zillion coming for Redbird Gaming, which we are not surprised to see at all. And then a ban on Rengar. Well... There we go, it's the usual. No big surprise there with the ban on Rengar. One one in the series right now. Tied. A ban on Nocturne is the second one. I really don't want to see the Nocturne again. They're gonna ban the Camille. Now the question is, what do they play around top lane this time? Are we gonna see the Shen again? Which didn't work terribly for them last time. Uh, dropped frames, 894, 0.3%. Mm. Take a look after the game, we'll try to change our bitrate and try a few settings on my channel and we'll see if anything changes. Picking up the Shen this time for Bert, Redbird and banning out the Draven in the first phase. Trying to eliminate anything that could make this game a little bit harder for them. And not a bad choice either. Now what do they pick up here? Might want to put in that top lane pick now to give themselves an advantage. Or at least put themselves in a nice spot. Bob uh, Yasuo. Looks like we had a DC. So oh, now we are up to 4,000 kilobytes per second. Oh, I forgot that the stream's on a two minute delay, so I had to wait two minutes. LOL, hopefully it works a lot better this time. If not, please do tell me. And then I'll know that that was not the fix to it. But here's hoping. Uh, 
They were looking to lock in the Alistar. Okay. Oh! First game ever where Alistar is not banned. I thought I had, a, I had a siren somewhere. I need to go into this little button thing. We're finally going to see Alistar played on Hoffinator. It's his most played champion. He likes the champion. Never gets to play it. 100% ban rate. Disappointing, but might make this very exciting. Remember, stay hydrated. And it uh, looks like there is going to be a reload here. Hoffinator will join back in. And we'll get this thing on the way. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe. Technical issues with the client. <laughs> oh, it's just going to be a second here, ladies and gentlemen. Now would be a good time, if you haven't already, just read those things to the left of me here. Left? Your left of me. That's right. And that is going to be the team. Coach is going to be Seth. Seth. It's Ben. It's the guy who casts with me. Super great guy. Knows a lot about League of Legends. Hopefully he's the coach. Uh, the lineup is Renegade Mac, also known as Luke. Hoffinator. Are those nicknames? Hoffermeister? Are they actually... No. Uh, no, Nick. It's not big enough on mine to read. It's Nick Hoffmeister. The boss is Andy Casa, Centurionis, Tommy Herod, and Master Master Gamer Live, MGL is what I often call him, is Kyle Angel Angelback. I think. That's gonna be our team here. And oh. More technical issues with the client as another person has left the game. There we go. Now we're starting to get people in here. And it looks like both teams are ready now. And we'll get back into the pick and draft phase. It's going to be the exact same thing out of both teams up until the point that Yasuo is not going to be a Yasuo. It is going to be an Alistar. First time he's not been banned in the first three picks means that they finally get to pick him up. So why not? It'll be the first time we get to see it played. As well as I think the first time it'll be played in any match against Butler in the Dark Star Cup and in the Dark Star tourney they did before this cup. I think it was banned with 100% ban rate. Nocturne being banned, Rengar, that'll be the Camille ban. Looks like they're not worried about the Kled as it's not been picked up yet. I think they should be more worried about the Kennen than anything. Camille ban. Draven out. And then the Draven ban, which means we're probably... I'm surprised we see the Alistar being picked first instead of the Kaiza. Well, I guess... Am I tripping? Yeah, I am. Graves will be banned. That's what it's supposed to be. Lock in first for red will be the Shen. Wanting to play that. I'm surprised we see that instead of the Kai'Sa. And I'm also surprised that we see Butler picking the Alistar over the Kai'Sa. Since taking that away might be a saving grace for them at this point. And... Lucian! Lucian Alistar bot lane. We've seen Lucian a couple times. It's never been played poorly. But with the Alistar, it could be the secret key to putting them at a big advantage here. Malzahar being shown. Wouldn't be surprised if we don't we saw that picked up again. We are. The mighty Y Y Stod? Mighty Y Oh, I'm yawning. Come on. Gotta get through this. One more game. Uh, probably wouldn't be bad. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the Kai'Sa be picked here if they want to play it or if they're not too worried about their bot lane. But uh, Kai'Sa being picked is probably going to be what we see. Or nothing. Oh, there we go. There it is. And then out of Butler. Uh, top lane pick of Scion. Might not be bad. Or... See, the thing is, we've all seen the Urgot, we've seen the Hecarim, and we've seen the Scion, other than the Shen. I wouldn't be mad about the Hecarim if they play around his ulti. Uh, Urgot would be dumb. 
But instead, they're going to wait on picking top, and they're going to pick the Zin Zhao instead. Not too bad, MGL plays a great Zin Zhao. Another big. Other two bands coming in for Butler. First one will be... Probably wouldn't be crazy to see a ban on... Huh. They kind of want to force the enemy to play the Sejuani. They've taken out the Graves and the Rangar. I don't know what else they're worried about. Nautilus, probably not bad if he goes the Gargoyle again. It just is a big block in the way of their damage. Ari still being banned. I'm going to give it to him. They're very committed to banning that Ari. <laughs> I think we've seen it once, and it went very poorly. Morgana being banned on the side of Butler. That's going to be towards the support role. They don't want to see it on a little root. And the ban coming from... It's going to be Oriana. Take out another mid position. Now... Do we see something wild here? For the pick mid lane. We saw the Lissandra. It worked very well. It was a little... We're going to see the Urgot into the Shen. Even though they picked the Shen into the Urgot to counter it. No, the Poppy? Well, that's the first time we've seen a Poppy top lane, but I'm... Hey, whatever. What the hell? It's against a Shen. Uh, pick on their side here. Eh, Thresh wouldn't be terrible as a pick. Thresh Kaisa might not be bad. I'd rather see Braum Kaisa. They're going to go with the Skarner and secure it, and they're going to use... It's going to be a lot of utility out of Skarner's ulti and Malzahar's ulti. Not to mention Shen's ability to move around the map. Uh, for jungle here... Or not for jungle, for... Support here, Braum, Thresh. There was a play of Blitzcrank earlier, but that seems like a waste. I don't think Kaiza has the damage to make a Blitzcrank be useful. I'd like to see the Braum instead. A nice shield in front. Oh, Rakan. What? What? Is that Scion support? I guess that's not... Against Alistar Lucian? Kaiza Scion? Okay. Some weird picks coming out of Redbirds. Might be throwing Butler off here. We're going to see the Cassidy in mid lane. About time. The outplay potential here is huge against the Malzahar. It's going to come down to this Cassidy and how big this bot lane can punish. Because if Shen gets away with the game, well, what, Shen gets fed and it's harder to kill? It's not as much here. Oh no, it's going to be Shen's support. Okay. I think Alistar and Lucian might just have fun bot lane. Scion top lane against the Poppy. Two teleports on either team. This is going to be a wild game. Uh, strap ourselves in here. Oh, okay. No idea what's going to be the result of this here. Kassadin hopefully can take Malzahar. If Kassadin takes Malzahar... Game switches in favor. Lucian, Alistar, finally an Alistar bot lane. It's Hoffinator's best pick here. I think it's something to be feared. I think it would have been safer for Redbirds to ban it. Almost silly not to. And now we get to wait. The two minute delay. The three minute delay. Ah, oh, the worst part. We'll get Ben back in here. So we're watching our bites here. And it dips for a solid minute on spectator delay. Which is kind of weird, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll turn down graphic settings when we get in. How you doing, Ben? What's up? Cassid in mid lane, I'm excited to see. Zin's out. I think for the first time ever, Yeah. we're going to see that Alistar bot lane. Um, it is the first time they have not banned it. They didn't ban it last game, but we picked up the Thresh instead. You hear that? 99.9% .9 ban rate, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just um, kidding. We haven't played a thousand so games. So they picked up... A Scion, Skarner... Shen support seems like a terrible pick into Lucian Alistar. It's not going to uh, save Kaisa at all. Yeah, so I think they definitely picked, they picked the Shen 
first to take it away from our top because he, that's the only thing he's played so far. Um, and then I think they they were they were pretty much playing it towards the for for top lane, but once they saw that we picked the poppy and we we got our jungler, um, they went for the scion instead, which gives them a really really beefy front line with uh, the Shen Skarner, um, and then the scion coming in. So they have Shen Melzahar Kaisa. Skarner sign. We're gonna watch your stream. Hopefully it doesn't. I will turn down the graphic settings when we get into game, but during the spectator delay, the client just kills my KBPS. So, really? Uh, what it, do you have anything else running? No, nothing else is running. I mean, Discord, OBS, and that's really it. Crazy. Uh, it's not done this before. I think I might have changed something in settings. I'll take a look at it after this and make sure it's fixed for next time, which will be thursday ladies and gentlemen we're coming back thursday i will be here this thursday which is you know the only yes. reason to really show up <laughs> but no i'll be here i'll be having fun we'll be casting again and we'll be uh another exciting game against oh we're playing mad maniacs the naming convention in esports teams could use a big improvement redbird gaming <laughs> mad maniacs um, actually their name is redbird Esports red. That's somehow worse. That's somehow <laughs> red bird esports red. Yes. Whoo! God. Um, Imagine having the best name in a tournament next to Supernova, and being named after a school. Right? Like you had to pick yours of Butler Esports. They had choices, and theirs are still worse. Red bird esports red. Rikes. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Into the loading screen. There's the skin we want, ladies and gentlemen. You'll see it on that Alice Star. That's what I'm talking about. Moo cow. As we get in, just hit that. Uh, I had a cowbell. I have one downstairs. I'm so pissed I didn't bring it up. <laughs> There's no skin on that poppy. I have every poppy skin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the festival cast him. Um, this will be an low key, one. low key second best skin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's turn down. I'm in already, but let's turn um, down. I'm not because Butler Wi-Fi. Well, my Wi-Fi too apparently right now, which is weird because I'm LAN, so it should be. It's usually really great, so we'll find out here if this fixes it. If this doesn't fix it, everyone, I apologize, and I'll do my best to get through it with um, you. All right, we are in, and I probably can't open thing again. We are at 20-some minutes, and time controls are still not fixed, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I don't know what the heck that is. That's super weird. All right, so we've got a pretty basic start. Um, Shen moving into the lane. Oh, Poppy. Wow, very nice. Usually? Okay. Ooh. Poppy looking to take some hot shots at Sign. They're Poppy having to channel back. This matchup, uh, like, not, it, it's, it's not a, necessarily a skill matchup, um, but it does rely on skill. Um, I think it, it favors the Poppy, though. Ladies and gentlemen, I am watching right now the best I can. I won't see it till two minutes, though, because I'm on a 120-second delay if the stream is destroyed or not. And if it is, I'll switch back to a different KBS, and we'll just run with it while we have. But there is Hoffinator on the Alistar. Oh, that's what we wanted to see, baby. Look at that. That is by far one of the best skins in the game. <laughs> I, it's 100% the best alley skin. I know Better that you than can do I know you can do the cowbell. I hope I hope that gets abused. The the Shen Kaisa might be the I guess stone that broke the camel's back here. As that is a, a very strange bot lane to go up against a very consistent bot lane like Lucian Alistar. Um, Cassidan. Already showing I don't think I, I've not seen Mac play this in a while, so this will be interesting. Yeah. It it really I mean, the, the Malzahar is a... Uh, he's a Mal's one trick for the most part, so... Well, <laughs> we probably should have banned it, but we had to, we had higher priorities. Um, the Graves was a 100% necessary ban. Um, okay. Decent trades throughout mid lane. Let's go to bot lane here. I feel like Shen is gonna... Well, I think it'll take a little bit before Lucian becomes able to just destroy Shen, but... 
See, hopefully in team fights, this Poppy will be able to block the Shen. Um, see, that's oh, very nice, Ooh. very nice, very nice. Good, Good plays coming out of Poppy. Fantastic trade. See, it favors Poppy with that shield, plus the fact that she gets better use out of uh, grasp than he does because she can just. When, he, when she gets a grass prop just like that, she can throw her shield, which is a ranged ability. <laughs> this is going to be and broken. It, pox, it, it procs grasp, which is like, it, it's pretty unfair, but... Oh, I've absolutely killed the stream, so I will be changing this immediately. Ladies and gentlemen, do not worry. Although I forgot that it's going to take two minutes to fix on your end, so I apologize for you there. I'll figure out video bit right here in a second. I'll figure out everything I can, but this is not usually happening like this. It usually runs pretty decently smooth, so. Skarner moving up towards the top side. Um, Zen. Oh, the Malzahar flashing. Oh, but not flashing quite. just into a Zen. Oh, is we're going to get the knockup? No. I think Zen might have been able to get the kill if he flashed for that. I think so, too, especially because... Oh no, Kassadin doesn't have the Ignite, but still, the movement out of... Yeah. Malzar didn't have any more uh, cooldowns, and he had no flash. <laughs> Getting the updates, yeah, it's a lot worse. I'm fixing, I'm fixing. Oh wait, no, it doesn't matter, I just changed it, but you guys won't see it for a while. Okay, so we should be... A lot better now. I'm really curious what's happening here. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. At least it's coming through a little bit. And sound is coming through fine. I think it's just audio. Or I think it's just visual that's coming, having trouble. So we'll do our best here. Lucian. They're Not playing a... super far back. Which, I guess. I understand that. Cassidy getting ready to roam already. But yeah, they're already going to see that. And they're going to know it's not going to be... And Poppy top lane, taking her time. Ooh, nice use of that, but getting caught and not having that shield pick up is going to not put that in her favor at all. Oh, she got the minions, though. She's out of potions, though. Bot lane, Zen Zhao looking to make some money moves here. Alistar Zen's going in. in. And Here's... he flashes, and he gets the knockup, and that's going to be the first blood going over to Alistar. Wow, look at that. Lucian forced a flash away from the Skarner. Um, very aggressive Alistar. Uh, Poppy? I... Poppy? Oh. Yeah, we're going to catch up here in time. Unfortunate. Malzahar and Kassadin playing Tickle Me Elmo in the mid lane. Poppy going down is unfortunate. And Scion. Almost a kick in the face to see the Scion beating the boss right now. Yeah, that is so... a champion we used to see him play so much. Uh, he's Poppy as, playing as Poppy, so you're not very mobile until you pick up um, some boots, which he just did. But he's taking way too many uh, cues from the Scion. Being careful here, bot lane. Um, yeah, so the Alistar picked up the first blood, but then the Poppy dying solo to the, to the Scion. Making things a very even game right here. Casting getting bullied in the mid lane. But staying ahead in CS, so in the end it might be worth it. Ooh. Going to... Forcing himself to go back here by being low on mana. Yeah, see, so like, right there, that Poppy taking, like, unnecessary Q damage. Knocking up the Shen. Ooh. Not oh, and the Cassidy's right behind them. Wow, going Shen in strong. Not TP. Staying on that Shen. He's not up for a little longer. For ten more seconds. Are they gonna be able to chase this down? Uh, looks like they're gonna back off. Oh nope. <laughs> Wait, he has another Q. There we, there go. we go. There's the pickup. Cassidy's gonna be one ahead. Long prolonged and fight. Picking up the kill. And that's gonna be nice when he goes back into lane. He'll have a little bit of a gold advantage, only if not by just one item, one small item. To put himself a little bit in a better position against Malzar, who's been bullying him pretty heavily. Cassidy losing a lot of farm mid. Mm -hmm. 
Butler has the gold lead by about six five hundred gold. They're gonna hold on to it the best they can. A lot of this gold lead just bleeds so much from this top lane not being able to catch keep up and farm. Yeah. They're uh, down what, almost thirty. What happens almost consistently is uh either they die and they lose a lot of pressure, um and minions to the tower or they're unable to farm under turret now that i can use these little short oh cassidy going Cassidy's in it's going in on this malzahar he doesn't have flash for another few seconds Ooh, but the ulti coming out dragon going down Zin all doing a lot of damage Dragon goes down. Zin is. Lucian's right here, and Alistar's coming Ooh, up. Oh, there's the damage that they needed. Mm, Cassidy surviving by the hairs of his chinny chin chin, as well as Skarner in the same boat as him. They're going to go on to Kaisa. She rhymes. has no flash. No escape, and, and a stun. Go down. Scion is here, but it's a bit um, too late. Scion doing so much damage to the Lucian, though. Now there's three of them, and they're just going to scare him off. And that's a that was that was, a... that was a very. Like, I don't know how much... What what was that Scion burst? I don't know if that was intentional by Butler, but that was a very, very good long fight and a good rotation. Although they do lose yeah. Mountain Drake, but it's finally something other than Mountain. Oh, and there's a pause coming out. Um, and the stream is... From the, Butler. We're going to take this second. I think something might be bugged in the actual League client when it comes to this. Honestly, I think League client right now is, like, shitting the bed. Yeah, this is not... Like, we're even having... the spectator is, like... I, I, like, I can't press certain buttons. I was streaming Black Ops on, like, full graphics, and I was getting more consistent bitrate than I am right yeah, now. Yeah, I think it's it's gotta be the client. Like, yeah. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I filled out an internship for Blizzard, not for Riot, though. I'll make sure <laughs> to correct that next time. <laughs> um, so... This no idea what this pause is yet. Somebody said lagging. Same. Um. <laughs> <laughs> IRL. Um, Luke, you guys are still paused. Uh, no. Pause. Oh, somebody on the other team DC'd as well after they unpaused. So, I want you to know that we're a long pause here. League is broken. <laughs> you can't possibly blame me. League is broken. I think we're just gonna. I think you should ask for them to FF. I have a presentation tomorrow, but don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, it's already done. However, after this, I'm going to be shoving so much food into my mouth. I want um, to... So, Butler's up 1.6k gold right now. Um, four kills to their advantage. If they can hold it, they're in a good position, but worries me is the top yeah, lane. Yeah, this Kassadin is scaling, and once he gets rolling, that'll be a scary, scary Kassadin. And this is what we wanted to see, too. We wanted to see this out of the mid lane renegade we wanted to see him shy away from these utility or support champs and put himself on carry champs like cassidy mm -hmm. um yeah. the only scary part is once we hit a little bit once we hit mid to late game you're gonna see two so we have both malzahar and skarner on the same team which is terrible because you can't buy two qss's <laughs> <laughs> Um, so even if you get away with one, you still have the other hard CC. So it's very, it's going to be very challenging for one person to specifically like just go all in. Um, because once you get, even if, you, even if this Cassidy goes in and the Malzahar ultis and you QSS that you'd have the Skarner ulti or, or back to back. We are um, at one reconnect right now. There's one. They're still... I think the support is still AFK. Oh, good. Now, did Butler win last week on Thursday? I don't think so. Um, no. So, what happened was... Uh, we lost three bans because we had two yeah. emergency subs, and the, the other team was bitching about the fact that I was playing, and I'm technically on the roster, but because it says I'm a coach and not a player, they counted it as an emergency sub. Uh, so we lost three bands and we couldn't brand we couldn't ban their their jungles one trick graves uh, oh because you lost the first three full bands yeah 
so that like completely fucked us and because we couldn't ban his one trick graves and graves is disgusting as a champion like we 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 tried so hard <laughs> their top laner was d5 boosted oh god uh, we're back in the game now well, oh never mind ladies and gentlemen uh, looks like we're out again for a few more minutes. League is doing its best here, but uh, there's um, only so much you can ask. Butler's still up. Uh, we're still up for kills. Uh, we're still up uh, in gold. Uh, Pretty much everything the same as last pause. Yeah. There and we go. India's reconnected. Level difference and is... We should uh, be in-game any second now. Um, so again... This a lot of these games. It comes down to the fact that we we bleed gold in both. Uh, if the jungle matchup is too different, like the last game where the Graves got ahead, or we bleed gold in the top lane CS difference. Um, like our bot lane can do really well sometimes. Like right now we're we're doing very well in the bot lane, but we're, we're gonna can... lose gold in the top side, and we're gonna lose gold in the jungle if the jungle gets behind. Giving the blue buff over to the mid lane, I think, is a good choice here. Uh, moving. So mid lane. Lucian picking up the farm in the mid. Cassidy moving towards bot lane. Uh, they're going to run into this turret. And they're playing it very safe. They're, very, they're, they're aware that they're behind, and they're trying to take their time. I think this is the time Butler, Butler bites like a snake. <laughs> Butler bites like a snake down on him, and we'll see it. Mid lane here, uh, Alistar coming comes in, in. Throws a ward down. Oh, he's not in a great position here, but they're going to let her get away. Oh, um, maybe not. Don't be greedy and go for that pink ward. Ooh. Plays it Alistar so safe, moved, gets away. Alistar moved up, too. So that would have been very bad if... if that would have been an almost guaranteed out. kill. Um... Zin taking the opportunity to move in and steal these wraiths away, and Skarner not doing the same. Wraiths? Oh, yeah. I think you, <laughs> I think you mean roosters. Uh, chickens? Chickens, my apologies. Chickens? <laughs> I actually did uh, play when they were wraiths at one point. It was my first uh, season. I, did you play when there was the white camp? Remember Maybe. Remember the white camp before Gromp was a thing? Yes, before Gromp. <laughs> I do remember before that. Before wraiths. <laughs> There was uh, there was the white camp, and then I took a break for like, like Gromp only worse. Riftdale going over to yeah. Red so this here. is the this is unique because very early uh, we see Xin Zhao focusing a lot on these ganks and being where the fights are and giving up a lot of these objectives. But in return, I mean, he's keeping up in CS. Yeah, the Cassidans ahead. Uh, the bot lane's ahead. Um, he's in, he's behind in farm. The Zin is, um, but not too far behind in terms of gold. Playing this game so careful, using these QWE keys to switch is so nice here. Um, Alistar going in on the bot lane. Bot lane. Oh, they're gonna go deep in here. Forcing the Kaiser flash, but the TP is coming, coming in, and Shen is on top of Lucian. He is whispering in his ear. The return and flash. Lucian the Scion there. misses the ult. Oh, uh, by Lucian a long shot. Is gonna go down to the Scion. Um, Cassidy's here though. The collapse by. It's a four v. It's a four v three right now. It's a four v five. Right, a three v five right now. Oh no, they're gonna pick up three kills here and they just didn't need to they just didn't want to take this fight butler overextending pretty heavily instead of just letting the one die but and they're gonna they're gonna lose the tower they're for this as drop, well they're gonna drop rift herald here um they we need to move people bot lane to prevent them from taking a second turret uh that... that's first so this is the opposite of what we've seen both games before where butler takes advantage of the early game and they take all of the objectives they take the dragons they take the turret um, and they take Rift Herald. This game, uh, <laughs> Redbird is taking them. I couldn't remember their team. Yeah, no, I keep forgetting <laughs> it too. Because I, I see Red Fox and it freaks me out every time. I was like, it's not Red Fox. Redbird, they're not going to get a second tower, which is going to be nice. Xin Zhao is going to push a little far in there. I don't know what he's looking for. Clear um, up some next vision. Drake is 
Ocean Drake, which doesn't really help either team too much, but it will be beneficial. Malzahar is going to get a tower here, but Kassin might pick up the kill. Kassin, Kassin is going to pick up, pick up another the kill. kill. Well. <laughs> oh, good. Good moves there. Uh, That's Sion a three is, and one Kassadin. Sion is visibly sitting in that bot bush. I don't know. Uh, yeah, if, he's, he's I don't know if he knew he was visible. This is ugh. that's two towers. Two towers already. Let's go with that. Let's switch over. Visible is a word. Not much happening. Top lane. Let's look at the CS difference. Oh, top yes. lane again, falling behind in that CS. But Lucian looking like a snack in that difference. <laughs> oh my Lucian god. Is, Lucian is up six hundred gold. Um, the Alistar is also up four hundred. In the mid lane, not that big of a difference. Um, no. He is down farm, um, and the, the Malzahar has two assists. Um, and the Redbird also has quite a bit of gold in uh, their two towers and the objectives that they've taken. Here's the Ocean Drake, though, and this might, and they're going to trade a tower for this? I don't think that's the move here. The teleport Cassidy. coming in. Cassidy. There's the ulti. He doesn't Ooh. have QSS yet. And that's just too much. They're going to get a tower and a kill, and that is a free kill unnecessary tp towards the top lane that tower was gone oh yeah um and they're gonna look to pick up malzahar here again ignite and the the, the alistar is gonna pick up another kill dubstep ignite going on there i mean they're getting these kills but they're losing objectives like yeah mad left and right around the map super fast um they're gonna oh poppy going in there this. oh it is gonna poppy. be a 3v3 though 4v4 as zin comes in here Ooh, uh, Kai's a dodging so well in Juke. Take now. out one. Get... Alistar still going. That man is hungry for some kills she here. She has no summoners and no. She has Mind no... you, Alistar's 2 0. <laughs> He's got some gold here. He's going in for it. He's cowbellin. <laughs> Give the Look kill to Lucian. There we go. And, ladies and gentlemen, that is a perfect use of that. And now we're sitting where Lucian is now a little bit better in the head category. We're looking... We want to see the Lucian start picking up more kills. Oh, look at the CS and... difference. The gold difference top lane, though. Yeah. That's not good. That's a humongous. That's 2.7k gold yeah. difference in the top 2, 000... lane. That's... On a Scion, while he's still a tank, he's going to be very, very tanky. He has... He's going to be hard going for... Notice he's going straight for that, um, that gargoyle again. Uh, that gargoyle stone, gargoyle stone plate. And they move it. They make him super, super tanky in every fight. They moved it from the Nautilus. They couldn't get that. They said, "Fine, we'll throw it on a Scion." And now he's going to be up almost an, at least an item, as well as he's got boots on top of it. And he's already picked up the Ninja Tabby. Poppy needs to do a lot here to catch up and see us. Yeah, at this point, the Poppy. There's no way the Poppy catches up. Um, she just needs to stay. <laughs> she needs to lessen that gap. Yeah, somehow. best she can. Um, like the Scion pushing up like this. Um, Kassadin being able to catch all these waves, though, is good. Because as long as he's still staying relevant, um, he, at, once he hits two to, th once he hits three to four items, that's gonna be a very, very disgusting Kassadin. Going back, like, they're two friends in an argument right now. Malzahar and Kassadin, who, characters are kind of similar. At um, least if you look at them. Yeah. They're just so, going back in gold. They're trading who's above by 20, I'm above by 20, I'm above by 20. You couldn't ask for a more even bot lane. Or more even mid lane. Yeah. Um, the Malzahar making up for his deaths and the fact that all he has to do in every fight is walk up and ulti. Yeah. He knows that he could sit there and die all day, and as long as he's worth nothing, that's fine. But now we start to see a little bit of an advantage going Cassidy's way, but Scion is bot lane, and he's looking for it. He doesn't have vision of this. That's a two-item Scion. Oh, you can see it. Does um, not want to deal looking with it. To, he's looking to 1v1. Wait. What? I, I think he... the Scion can 1v1 the Cassidy. Oh, I 100% think he can. He's three, He's got so much money. He's at 7.4. He's got Gargoyles, Sunfires, and Tabby. He just sits on him. Especially with Shen here. I don't care how much damage Cassidy does. They're not killing those two. That's a 30-minute fight right there. So, Zin catching up. Still... Um, still behind. Ooh. Or no, he's actually a little bit ahead now. About there's three here. Oh, there's four here for um, Red. Drake. Drake is up in a little bit. And it's Infernal. Fine, it for the first be, time in the series. First Infernal. 
Um, Ooh, Malzahar getting Baron caught out again. In 140. Can the Bells do it? I want you to know I played yeah, Alistar. I never They're had a support. Turn. Poppy knocking the Shen away. That's a good knock, but isn't enough there to really follow up. They're both teams playing cautious because they know when this dragon comes up, they need to be alive. But the gold difference, ooh, it's not too bad right now, but you could easily go in either team's direction with one loss of an objective. Speaking of objectives, Butler has yet to take a tower. We are yeah, 18 minutes um, in. This is kind of like the opposite of both games, again, where they're... Butler was taking all of the objectives before, and now... There's no objectives being taken. <laughs> it had to deal with the... I think it was a little bit to do with the jungler. Nocturne had a lot of mobility, and he was able to go wherever he wanted on the map, and that allowed him to take objectives and for his team to pick off kills. Now yeah. he's on Zin, and he's not doing bad. We've never seen him play a bad Zin, but he's holding against Skarner, which is not what he needs to do. He needs to make up for the fact that his top lane is down 72 CS, which equates to almost uh, 3,000 gold right now. Yeah. Um... And Cyan is just gonna they're just gonna there's gonna be more money on Cyan by a big amount. I mean, with that that difference is Poppy's just not gonna be useful in team fights. Can you imagine if that gold difference was on a carry? I mean, this game would be over. Yeah. If Kaisa had that gold difference, she'd be on two items, she'd be trying to get third and she'd be sitting pretty. However, we're luck we're fortunate enough that Lucian is up in gold right now. And sitting 3 1, 3 2, 2 0. Oh, I don't know if that's enough to pull him through with a 3 0 Scion. He's just, he's just getting more money. Look at him. Top lane, picking him up. It's free coins for him. He's a pirate. <laughs> Look at this. He's 8,100 to 5,290. Yeah. Um, Look at those vision scores, too. Vision score. Mm. Ain't that something? Oh. Well, they're actually not that different. Yeah, vision <laughs> score is not too bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> Um, Dragon Infernal is up right now. Uh, Red are looking are to take it. Four members of Redbird sitting on it. And, and they're, they're going to go right for it. They give Butler has to give it up. And they're going to take it down too, yeah. There's no way they can fight that. No way they can fight that, nor they can do anything with that. And that's going to be just extra damage. Um, the only thing stopping Redbird from coming down onto Butler's head right now is the fact that they don't have Baron. If they get this Baron, that's... That's like, and that's one nail into the coffin. That's exactly what I was going to say. That's a nail in the coffin. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Cyan. How does he know he was there? Uh, the ward he right guessed. there. Pink. He guessed with the ward. Pretty good timing. Yeah. You can tell the kid's master. I mean, <laughs> he's bowling i mean for gold he's playing pretty well but yeah we need there needs to be an objective taken here one of these tower preferably mid tower if they can just get an advantage here Cassidy not doesn't have two items yet um he had to pay the malzahar tax <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're stuck again where butler is just playing the long con. We're forced to wait for the other team to pull the trigger on Baron, and then reactionary. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to stop it. Do you think it has anything to do with stamina? I mean, this is the only second, the first time we've seen the Butler as a full team go to a game three. They crushed in the first game. Second game, it just wasn't enough. The moment, even with the momentum in their favor, mm -hmm. it seems like the players are just not inside. Like they're just losing by a little bit more each time. Mm -hmm. I, I think. We we there like our gold influx right now is not high enough where this Cassidin and the Lucian aren't doing enough damage, and the Scion because he's getting so much free gold, um, there's no way the Lucian and the Cassidin are gonna be able to burn through that. Might be time to like throw him up and get get another team to scrim you and just play five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten games in a row and see how long your team can last, you know? Like, look at this Scion 1v1ing this Poppy. He takes no damage. <laughs> he's laughing. He just... Oh, he might get the kill here. If he pops ulti, I think he's got enough health to sit under the tower for a while. <laughs> Gonna play it safe, though. Well, I don't know. He's thinking about it. He's um, thinking. There might, they might pull the trigger on Baron as soon as this Poppy uh, backs. Teleports up for Scion. Um, they're getting some very deep vision, and there's some Ooh, little pop. scuffle going on here. 
trading some nice abilities here, showing everybody what each character can do, making sure yeah, they know. Notice how the, the the scion just takes no damage. He he he's lat. Look at it, he takes tower shots. He's like, I'll be back in ten seconds. <laughs> I, I've got. I currently have three thousand gold on you. I'm not worried, is what he's saying, and he knows it too. Goes takes a war. That's another twenty five. Whatever. Poppy's starting to regen a little bit here, but. There we go. She's mi oh, but it's just not enough to punish him. He can miss his cues, and by the time she walks up and he hits her, he's already won the duel. And Cassidy gonna go down to the Kaiser Zinzao. Looks like they're gonna pick up Zin here too. Oh, he flashes away. Oh, but and I don't he... think he's fast enough. There's QSS the taunt flash. The taunt. Nice use of the QSS. I wasn't Very expecting well. the, the Zen to have a QSS. No, I actually, last time I looked, he didn't. So the whole team paying the tax right now. And it paid off. Keeps him alive for a little bit. And it never hurts to have a little bit of extra. And they are starting up Baron. And they're going to, I don't know if there's a lot that they can do to uh, take this Baron. They're wasting time with uh, Scion here. I don't know why they're on Scion. Uh, they're, they're taking down Baron right now. Yep, and they're pulling the trigger on Zen Zhao so he can't jump in and steal it. He's their only chance here to actually be able to take it, and he's going to look for it, too. And he doesn't have Flash, and the Baron is going to go down. Yep. There's nothing they can do there. Ah, they might pick up Shen here, but he's going to taunt, right over, yeah, taunt right over the wall. Alistar is so low. Right? Poppy fighting Scion right by red. And it's just not enough. Yeah. Ooh. Flashing. Gets, it actually escapes. Wow. Cassidy finally here. Angry that he was dead that entire time. Can he make up for it now? Well, he's going to try to pull the trigger on the Scion. The Shen. And it's just not his, enough. Using his uh, ultimate there. To save the Scion. And Scion, I mean, the man, is unstoppable. It's 4,000 ahead almost. God. So, did we get a kill there? Did... No. Couldn't take down Shen. Couldn't take down Scion. Certainly couldn't take down Scion. Certainly couldn't take wow. down Malza. Up in kills, down in gold, and just getting... We started getting... off very strong, and then we lost some very critical fights. Yeah, and then it's just become a point where if Scion's not with the team, maybe if you get a 5v4. 4v4, maybe they can take it if Alistar plays really, really well, and he gets a little bit few more items yeah. on him. He's got Knight's Vow now. He's going to be a little bit stronger. He's going to keep that Lucian alive a little bit. The Cassidy just doesn't have any damage on the these carries yet. But here comes uh, Kaiza. What's Kaiza building here? She's got a fiendish, co fiendish codex. Probably going for um, either a Zonia's. I'm not. Does that build into Zonia's? I know it builds into it a builds... Banshee's Veil. It might be Banshee's Veil. I don't believe Zonia's is uh, Blue Rod. Oh God, I'm gonna butcher these yeah. names. No one flame me in chat. Blue Rod and the the 850 wand, blasting wand. Yeah. Boom! Look at that. I've been practicing. Blue wand. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> Skepter. It's a Skepter. It's a Skepter. I know that. It's a Blue Skepter and then Blasting Wand. I always remember I Blasting Wand. I think it's an wand. armband. Is it an armband? I think it's an armband. No one has it right now, so I can't check myself, and you can't see the store <laughs> when you're... I can't shop. I'll, ta I'll take it. Armband. Oh, yeah, it's an armband because it gives you defense. That would make sense. Red team taking another tower. Yeah, so again, just a red bleeding wow. out resources in every corner. Redbird the... taking another tower. And then 7,000 difference here. Being given a good old... That's I guess our... right now it's a 3-1. There's another dragon going over. That's the regen. They, they, they're they running the three cards right now. Oh, see, it's looking look beautiful. The Scion takes no damage. He doesn't care. Look at him. The Cassin well, does not do really enough. trying to take down this Scion. And he's not dying. Poppy just hits Moy. Done with it. She no longer wants... Uh, and they're going to get a tower for that. Down. Yep. They're going to lose inhib for that? Uh, not quite. Almost. Uh, they should be able to get it here. There should be no question. Expect Where's Scion? Oh, he's bot. He's going to stay bot. If, the, if they don't send someone bot, they can jump on this. I mean, there's this cannon bot. minion just trucking away. Look at the DPS on that boy. Have him as the carry. Yeah, if they put a... Scion is so... Such a big problem. He's super tanky and... We just can't deal with it. Yeah. If they ever put a cannon minion as the game, as an AD carry, I promise you I'll one-trick him to plat 5. I'll play that. <laughs> I'll one-trick that to plat 5 till the day I die. Going back. Only, and they're just going to clean house here, I think, with both inhibitors. And they're going to take top. There should be no resistance here. 
Scion is just too much of a force right now. The CS difference is ridiculous. He's now ahead. Not oh, by the Lucian. Gone. Not by double, but he's close. I honestly don't think five thousand. He's Scion, five thousand can... CS or five thousand gold ahead. Am I losing it here? No, that's five thousand. Yeah, that's five. Wow. That's a ZZ yacht portal right there. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> What's even the point? He's got. Oh no, it's not ZZ rod. I thought it was a ZZ rod portal. Oh, it's a gargoyle. Like, He's got warm on. I swear, it looks like when it was on cooldown that it was a ZZ rot portal. I yeah, was like, I, I don't know. the Scion taking zero damage. He's just sitting there. He doesn't care. And he walks out. There was four of them attacking. And he walks out. He's got so much. It would take the entire team like 30 seconds to kill this Scion. He he is stronger than Baron, I truly believe. I think, I think Butler could kill Baron. He only has three items, too. But he's so big. He's got war. He's got war mogs though, gargoyles and sunfires. Well, now he's got, he just bought a full he item. He bought a full frozen heart on his back. <laughs> Look at that. He's not gonna go down. That's oh my god. The man was sitting on twenty two hundred gold. Oh my god. This is the game. All scions everywhere have come together and waited for. They've all huddled around like, what? What can we do? Let's buy frozen heart when we back. Cyan just using his ulti the to sprint. Just Using his ulti to get into base. He doesn't care. He knows they can't has, kill him. He has 5,000 health. Four items. Look at it. They're letting him 1v5. They, they want to see how long he can last. Go for it. Honestly, he doesn't even need a team at this point. He doesn't. He's so strong. Yeah, good luck killing him. The tower can't even kill him. He's just going to sit there. He's, he's just going to sit there. He's health. <laughs> The man's got 9,000 health right now. Shield. They're focusing him so hard. And he walks out. Oh my god. Under tower. Under multiple. Well, that'll do it though. But I think that's going to be the GG. And that's GG. Wow. He survived a little bit there. Well. Whew. Well, we know who won that game, and it's Scion, and also by <laughs> extension, Redbird. And also by extension, <laughs> Scion won that game. Single, I, I think he won v nine. Oh my god! That. Do we want to bring Luke in? Yeah. Um. Oh, you know what it might be? It might be my OBS that's glitching out. But I think it's because of League. Let's bring Luke in here. Alright, Luke, you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, give me one second here as I pull this beautiful thing up. Yeah. So, Scion. 10,000 health almost. Yeah. <sighs> Dude. First game went great. I've never seen Butler dominate so much. And then all... Poppy like, should win that matchup, honestly. Where was the Gatorade and orange slices for the team? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what do you think was the, the issue there that went from dominating in game one, Luke, to being toyed with in game two, and then absolutely demolished in game three? Well, skip game three, because we know what happened in game three. Just focus on game two. What was the difference? Well, game one, we got every pick we wanted. We got the comp we wanted, and they weren't ready for it. Game two, they counted the comp, and uh, we just threw really hard. In game three, honestly, I think that was just like pure player skill difference in terms of top lane and like bot lane. Like every single fight, I was getting either flash, uh, Skarner ulted plus Mal's ulted, or Skarner ulted plus flash Mal's ulted. Like both were always on me every single fight. And there was just like a 10,000 health 
Scion running at my uh, AD carry, <laughs> and there's absolutely no chance he does anything solution. So, like, yeah, he couldn't do anything. But um, I mean, we had a plat five top laner going against a diamond one player. Yeah. I don't know why you guys see these statistics. He was master on my screen. Master, uh, in, he's master in flex Q. Oh, still though. I don't want to solo queue. I played against him a few times. Yeah, that was a uh, first game looked really beautiful. Second game, yeah, fall apart. Third game, third game was really just it was a scion that kind of made that because I think overall every lane didn't do terrible. I think there yeah. were a lot of good plays. There was the early pickoffs. The Cassidy, I really love to see. I think you played that very well. I hope we get to see that again. Yeah, I think Cassidy doesn't fit into a ton of team comps, but it's good there. We just, like, I had the lead. Like, everything was going well. I was stacking my mana items. And, uh... And then and you, guys, you and bled then, resources in... Every we just tower. lost like four towers because nobody like was going to the right lanes to rotate. Yeah. And then Scion was just and an Scion absolute happened. yeah. Like yeah. Scion had a like his CS advantage exponentially increased over the course of the game. Yeah, that was uh. Yeah. I'm very curious to see how we how the team plays sure. Thursday when we know that we can see the team play really, really well. And hopefully we see that again. Yeah. But we just gotta, you know, the stamina and the ability to play all three games, you know. But this yeah, is I, I think this this is only the second time Butler's ever gone to three. And this is the first time with a full team that gone to three. Right. I'm so. hoping that as I back my oh shit, I just got the Don't be that don't be so angry. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> It wasn't the cup's fault. <laughs> yeah. The cup didn't so, give a sigh on 10,000. <laughs> so, as I perfect my mid-champion pool and practice it more, I'm hoping that I can get more champions like Oriana, where I can just take over team fights. Like, the five-man alt at Baron, the first game, like, absolutely swung that game. Like, we were already winning, but that, like, shut them out of it, and we took the Baron. And I'm hoping there are more champions I can feel that confident on where I can know that I'm going to be able to I don't have to go for things in lane to be able to impact team fights so, so I want to get more more picks like that where I'm really comfortable on the champion and able to use their kit to the maximum potential so the Oriana got the Cassidy in both you yeah. play really well uh, you're stepping away from those utility like uh, Zillion and uh, well, a few others have I you like thought of Zillion, but he was banned every game. Yeah. Yeah, that was unfortunate. We did get to see the Alistar finally, which worked actually very well in bot. Yeah, the Alistar was good. But I guess uh, that's why it's always banned, so. Yeah. I think one of the biggest things is we're expanding the jungle champion pool. Like, the, the Nocturne was extremely good. I'm really, really glad to see MGL play that. It was, it was, honestly, it was very dominant. I mean, I think Nocturne as itself is a very good champion, but I think mm -hmm. it's hard to use. But he played it around the team really well, and I think often used it to save and secure 2v1 kills. Yep. But if we see more... So do, what do you want to see out of the jungle then? Because usually we see the I Zen, see, the I want to see him practice more. He only has like 100 games of solo queue this season, and he hasn't really ever diversified his champ pool. He's always stuck to the same three or four champions, and depending if they're meta, meta or not, uh his like results vary uh as you can see he was very 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 clean and comfortable on the nocturne and his olaf has been a staple it's not the flashiest but it's very very consistent he plays zach zach happens to be really weak right now um and he also plays zinzao but zinzao is not a great competitive pick so we're trying to expand his champion pool to a few more um competitive picks where we can um, have more like map pressure with it, right? Get more gang soft, snowball the lanes a little harder. Uh, and top lane wise, uh, we saw the Poppy for the first time, but we saw the Shen games, which were really well. Those yeah. played really well. Do we want to hold off on champs like Poppy maybe and stick with our Shens, our Scions, and our uh, Yeah, Akrams? so I think the, the big thing with our top lane is he, he is good at his narrow champions, right? Like we have practiced his practiced his Urgot, his Scion, and his Shen. 
And when he's on those, he's comfortable, he's clean, he's playing well, he's either, well, he was against the Diamond 1 top lane today, so I don't expect him to get a lead, but he was getting leads uh, last week, the week before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, if, he's he... on those, if he's on those three champions, he's doing well. But if we're putting him on something uncomfortable because they either ban him out or take the champ from him, in which they took Cyan and Pop, or Cyan and Shen, um, or just like it's a bad matchup for one of them, he he doesn't seem to like know how to lane as them, right? He fell really far behind his Poppy into this matchup that should be advantage towards her, um, probably just because he doesn't have enough games played as her to fully understand how to be playing lane. So hopefully more, you know. Just 1v1s with him, working on getting more champions in his pool. Because he can play him outside of lane phase, but he's just falling too far behind early in the game. I agree, because I think we saw him for a little bit be ahead on Shen in the first game, was it? Where he was actually, I think he won lane with Shen. Not necessarily, yeah, game, yeah not in CS, but in the fact that he had more gold well, and he was making more plays. He was still behind in gold. He was still behind in gold? I yeah, can't remember so if he, he was ahead. He definitely didn't win lane, but he won the game through, like, like the Urgot didn't do anything in yeah. team fights. Yeah. He, the, the Shen won completely through fighting with the team, while the Urgot just won, like, completely destroyed lane. But other than that, he didn't do anything in the entire mm -hmm. game. Yeah, that was really good to see. Hopefully we see more of that top lane, you know, starting to come with the team. But yeah, I want to see the more... I liked seeing the cast and I want to see more of the AP carries out of the mid lane. That was really good. It dominated pretty hard, but there's only so much you can do when uh, you're getting bullied pretty hard. Yeah. I mean, that was... Guess the gold difference between top lane by the end of the yeah. game. Guess the gold difference. Within a thousand. Uh, 6.5k. 5. 5k almost flat. The man bought a frozen heart, a full frozen heart, as his last item. Just backed, finally. He was like, you know what? It's time to go back. I'm a little low on health. Picks up frozen heart. He was he was a very comfortable champ. Yeah, he popped stone plate. Man's got 10k health. <laughs> it was, uh, I saw his health bar change. I'd never seen a champion's health bar do that before. <laughs> It actually looked significantly different. They had broken it down in a different way. It was very. I think yeah. each, each one was a thousand. Yeah, they health. literally yeah. can't contain how many bars of health you have, so they're like they're just giant. Yeah. So we all learned something today. But thank you so much for uh, being on this call, getting through this, and we're back Thursday. Yeah. Yep. See you Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> As Hopefully well, for, we'll have better luck. As well for everyone watching, thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry about the issues there. I think that might just be league because I'm pretty stable right now in OBS. I'll take a yeah, look at it after the game. Today has been it's been terrible. We we couldn't get rid of time. We couldn't do any like time controls or change anything really. Yeah. We only had hotkeys. It was uh. I <laughs> lost my.